What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 3 Rupees Chapter 61 No matter how hard you try, you still can't find it. After defeating the ninja Shikao Chong, the group continued to move up. The Dragon Ball radar in Bulma's arms suddenly beeped. She took out the radar, pressed it a few times, and kept zooming in and out to confirm the whereabouts of the Dragon Ball. Chi Chi saw that Bulma hadn't spoken for a long time and asked, What's wrong, Bulma? Bulma scratched her head and said, Strange, the radar shows that there is a new Dragon Ball here. Could it be that the Red Ribbon Army has found it? Krillin denied. Impossible, if they found it. How could they force so many villagers to find the Dragon Ball? That's right. Bulma looked a little confused. Son Goku said, Don't worry about it, go upstairs first. Several people nodded. Yeah, just when they were about to reach the top of the fifth floor, a tall and strong man appeared. His expression was very honest, and there was a long scar on his head. He was also very tall and strong. He stood at the entrance of the stairs and looked at Goku and the others, without saying a word. Seeing someone blocking the road, Chi Chi took the lead and walked to the front. Goku, Krillin, you two dealt with the previous people, let me take care of this guy. Krillin nodded. Okay, then you be careful. However, Goku blocked Chi Chi. Wait, Shanchi. Chi Chi was stunned. What's wrong, Goku? Thinking that Goku was worried about her safety, Chi Chi was a little shy. Don't worry about me, Goku. We have practiced together for so long, I am also very strong. You two have shown your skills, it's my turn. Chi Chi said. Son Goku shook his head. No, he shouldn't be a bad guy. Quote. Chi Chi, Krillin and Bulma were all stunned. How did you tell? This person was the kind-hearted Android 8, and Son Goku had no way to explain. He just replied. No murderous intent. However, just this one sentence made Chi Chi and Krillin's eyes full of stars. Goku, you can actually feel the murderous intent, you are really amazing. That's right, how did you do it? Son Goku scratched his head, feeling. Quote. Son Goku walked towards No. 8. Hello. Number 8 looked at Son Goku. Hello. Bulma and Chi Chi were surprised. This man actually greeted Goku. Son Goku said. We are going up, can you make way? Number 8 nodded. Are you here to destroy these evil guys? Son Goku nodded. He knew that Number 8 was a good guy, so he explained his purpose. Yes, we came here not only to destroy the Red Ribbon Army, but also to collect Dragon Balls and revive the villagers who were killed. Number 8's originally serious face suddenly showed a happy look. I know, you are good people. They have been doing evil things these days. Locking up the village chief and threatening the villagers to find Dragon Balls. Recently, they have forced and even killed many people. Although I don't know what they are looking for Dragon Balls for. I can probably guess that it is to achieve ambitions such as ruling the world. FFFLX. While speaking, Number 8 lifted his clothes and opened a door in his chest. A golden Dragon Ball appeared in his chest. Bulma was surprised. Dragon Ball. Chi Chi and Krillin were also surprised. Are you also a robot? Number 8 pinched the Dragon Ball with two fingers and took it out of his chest. Yes, I am Android No. 8. I picked up this Dragon Ball by chance outside, and in order to prevent them from using the Dragon Ball to do bad things. I hid it secretly. Quote. As he spoke, Number 8 handed the Dragon Ball to Son Goku, who was closest to him. Since you said you can use this to revive the villagers, I will give it to you. Hearing that Number 8 was going to give the Dragon Ball to Goku, Zayma was surprised. What's the matter? Aren't you a cyborg? How can you be a good person? Number 8 looked at Bulma. As soon as I was created and had consciousness, I didn't like killing people. After the doctor created me, he sent me to the battlefield. But they found that I didn't like killing people, so they put me here. The doctor said that I was a failed work. Quote. Bulma was stunned for a moment. A failed work. Excuse me, who is the doctor who created you? People call him Drive. Gallo. Quote. Bulma's pupils shrank. Drive Gallo, it's him. Chi Chi and Krillin looked at Bulma. Bulma, do you know him? In the future world, Dr. Gallo created Android 17 and 18, bringing an indelible disaster to the entire Earth. How could Bulma not know Dr. Gallo? But at this time, Bulma could only nod and responded. I know, he is a genius in artificial human technology. But I didn't expect that a genius scientist would work for the Red Ribbon Army. Quote. Son Goku asked. Number 8, since you don't want to be here. Why don't you come with us, we will take you away from here. Quote. Chi Chi, Krillin and even Bulma all looked at Son Goku in surprise. It's crazy to take this guy away. Seeing Son Goku's invitation, Number 8 shook his head. Thank you for your kindness, I can't leave. Son Goku said. Why? What else do you want to do for them? I heard that the village chief is detained here. Once we rescue the village chief, we plan to destroy this place. If you stay here, you will be implicated. Quote. Number 8 said. I have a bomb installed on my body, it is not suitable for me to leave here. Quote. Bulma was startled. Is there a bomb installed on my body? Number 8 nodded. Yes. Bulma smiled and said. I'm telling you, I'm a super mechanical genius, why don't you let me help you remove the bomb? Number 8 was surprised, can you really help me remove the bomb? Bulma looked at Goku, 
Chi Chi and Krillin and said, you guys have been working hard all the way. I have to show some skills, otherwise I will be underestimated by you. Bulma looked at number 8 and asked, do you have any tools? Number 8 nodded, yes, there are tools in the compartment, I'll get them out. Quote. As he said that, number 8 went to the compartment to get the tools. Krillin and Chi Chi both looked at Bulma. Bulma, you are so brave, is the bomb reliable? Don't worry, have faith in me. Krillin curled his lips. Bulma, I am a little worried, can I go downstairs and wait for a while? Chi Chi also echoed. Me too, I am a little worried too. Bulma looked at Chi Chi and Krillin, then looked at Sun Goku. And smiled. Okay, you all go. Sun Goku said. It's okay, I have confidence in Bulma's skills, you two go down. Chi Chi and Krillin looked at each other. Advertisement. Chi Chi. I want to accompany Goku. Krillin shrugged. Isn't this moral kidnapping? What if the team is wiped out? Sun Goku thought about it. It seems so, if the team is wiped out, there will be no way out. Krillin, Chi Chi, both of you go down. I'm worried about bad guys coming down from upstairs, so I'll stay here to protect Bulma. Duh, Chi Chi hesitated. No buts, go ahead, Chi Chi, there's no point for you and Krillin to stay here. Okay, as they talked, Krillin and Chi Chi went downstairs. Just then, number 8 came back with a toolbox. Number 8 lay on a table, and Bulma took apart his chest with ease. Seeing the many electrical components in the chest, Sun Goku was confused. But Bulma was watching with great interest. After all, she was the one who could make a precise Dragon Ball radar that even the Legion couldn't make. Drive Gallo is really a genius. His precise structure is beyond the reach of ordinary scientists. However, this little precision machine can't stump me. As she talked, Bulma operated it with a click, and soon took out the bomb. Goku, help throw the bomb outside, throw it far away. Oh, okay. Goku took the bomb, opened a window, and threw the bomb far away. After a loud bang, Sun Goku closed the window. When he turned around, number 8 had opened his eyes. Bulma put away the tools and said, Okay, the bomb is dismantled, you can go wherever you want. Number 8 said with joy, Really? Thank you. Bulma smiled and said, You're welcome, you also gave us a dragon ball, this is just a piece of cake. Bulma picked up the dragon ball and played with it casually. I was just thinking about killing the Red Ribbon Army quickly, and it seems that I forgot to find the dragon ball. I don't even dare to find the dragon ball by myself. Unexpectedly, after searching for a long time, I found it without any effort. The dragon ball is actually on Masruda. Ha 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 ha. If this continues, the Red Ribbon Army will never be able to find all the dragon balls in their lifetime. Quote. Chi Chi and Krillin ran up as if they heard the sound of a bomb outside. Goku, Bulma, are you all okay? I just heard the sound of a bomb. Goku looked back at the two of them and nodded. Yes, Bulma just dismantled the bomb, and I threw the bomb outside. Chi Chi and Krillin suddenly realized. No wonder the sound was so small, it turned out to be outside. Quote. Then let's go up next. Bulma nodded. Yes, let's go up. Number 8 said. There is a maze upstairs. It would be bad if you were trapped in it. Let me take you there. That's great. So, led by number 8, several people went up the stairs. There is no entrance on the fifth floor. It is a mysterious room. I don't know. I will take you to the sixth floor, which is the divisional headquarters. The village chief is imprisoned there. However, just when they arrived at the sixth floor, a wall suddenly disappeared, and a wall appeared behind them. An empty room appeared, and in the center of the room, there was a huge monster. Pink skin, with many spots like a toad, and a green tongue drooping, drooling disgustingly. Number 8 was startled. Wow, monster, I'm scared. Bulma was not scared, but number 8 shrank to the side and hid next to Bulma. Bulma frowned at the very scared number 8, thinking, why are you more timid than me? Sun Goku looked at the monster, then looked at Krillin and Chi Chi. This should be the most powerful guy, and the last monster. Let's go together and see who can defeat it. Chi Chi and Krillin both clenched their fists. Hee hee, the one who defeats the monster must be me. It's me. Chi Chi and Krillin argued for a while. The next second, the three of them stepped on the ground and rushed towards the monster. However, the attacks of the three people were all bounced back when they touched the monster. Damn, this guy's skin is too thick. The attack is completely ineffective. Chi Chi's eyes flashed. It seems that we have to think of another way. The next moment, the monster swept its long tail and swept directly towards Chi Chi. However, Chi Chi was skilled and brave, and dodged this move with an afterimage punch. The next moment, Shenxian's hand showed the calyx state again. Turtle, duh, Chi, I D. Chi Chi pushed his hands forward suddenly, and said Kamehameha blasted towards the monster. The original scene of being shattered by Qigong did not appear. The moment Kamehameha hit the monster, it was directly refracted. Chi Chi looked horrified. How is it possible that even Kamehameha is useless? In the backstage of Masruda, a general was holding a pipe. Watching the surveillance of the monster room with relish. In the prison behind him, the village chief was imprisoned. The general laughed and said, he he he, you fools, you underestimate the enemy. No matter how strong you are, no matter how powerful your weapons are. You can't defeat our ultimate secret weapon, the vampire. A unknown currency a unknown currency a unknown currency a unknown currency. He pressed the communication device with the monster room. 
Ha ha ha. What do you think, little devils? I'll give you a chance. Hand over the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball radar in your hands, and I'll let you go. Also, I won't ask the villagers to find the Dragon Ball in the future. How about that? Bulma's fierce voice came from the microphone. Don't make wishful thinking. I won't give you the Dragon Ball. The general snorted coldly. You are so stubborn. You will be eaten by monsters sooner or later anyway. At worst, I will wait for the vampire to excrete the Dragon Ball and then take it. It won't affect the use anyway. Vampire, eat them all for me. While speaking, the vampire opened its gluttonous mouth, extended its big green tongue, and suddenly circled towards Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi struggled hastily, but found that she couldn't get away. Help. Before Chi-Chi finished speaking, Goku had kicked the vampire's tongue. Fortunately, its tongue was afraid of pain, and it let go of Chi-Chi at once. The falling Chi-Chi turned 360 degrees in the air and stood firmly on the floor. Huh, I was scared to death, thank you Goku. Son Goku did not answer Chi-Chi directly, but was thinking about his weaknesses. As for Frieza, Cell, and those Super Saiyans, and the stories after Super Saiyan God, he remembered them clearly. But the experiences of little Goku in the original work are a bit old. In fact, I have forgotten almost 0.2, and this Goku has long forgotten the weaknesses of this monster. In short, this thing should not be very strong, and I should be able to kill it. Just as Goku was thinking, Krillin shouted. Goku, open. Son Goku turned his head and saw that Krillin had gathered another Chi Yuan Zan. Good guy, Krillin has a new trick, and he can do anything. Indeed, against such a clumsy opponent in the early stage, Chi Yuan Zan should be invincible. Son Goku retreated quickly. The next moment, Yuan Line Chi Yuan Zan swung over. The monster may be slow in movement, or too thick to hide, so it just stood there waiting for the attack of the Chi Yuan Zan. Sizzle. The Chi Yuan Zan attacked the vampire's skin, but failed to break his defense, and reflected back. Chi Chi and Krillin were shocked, and quickly dodged the reflected Chi Yuan Zan. However, Bulma behind them was dumbfounded. Because the Chi Yuan Zan flew right towards Bulma. Bulma wanted to hide, but she couldn't keep up with the speed. The strong fear made her hair count, as if she would be cut in half in the next moment. Just as she was panicking and at a loss, a small figure pounced on her. And while throwing her down, she also pressed her head hard to the ground. Shua, the Chi Yuan Zan almost passed by, and went straight to the wall and window behind Bulma. Quote dot 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 quote. The thick wall and window were cut open, and the cold wind blew in. Bulma opened her eyes and found that she was not dead. The little Goku in her arms was still holding her head with his hands, and she exhaled deeply. Oh, thanks to you, Goku. Goku was lying on Bulma, feeling sweet and soft, and didn't want to get up. Suddenly, a cold wind blew from his back, instantly freezing his back and making his teeth tremble uncontrollably. Chapter 62 Destroying Masruda Son Goku stood up suddenly. Oh no, the wall is leaking. Bulma, get up and get some clothes. Krillin and Chi-Chi were shivering in the cold wind. Although they were not wearing much, they were all wearing clothes after all. But the monster was naked. At this moment, the liquid dripping from the monster suddenly solidified. And the cold wind blew, and the pink skin on his body began to freeze. Before the monster could freeze, Bulma quickly took out warm clothes for them. After a while, several people put on thick cotton clothes. And the monster had been frozen into an ice sculpture. Son Goku punched the monster that had turned into an ice sculpture, and it shattered into pieces in an instant. Chi-Chi breathed a sigh of relief. It turns out that his weakness is fear of cold. Krillin. Fortunately, fortunately, it was an accident. But Bulma looked at Krillin with a frown on her face. Krillin, your Chi Yuan Zan almost killed me. Krillin's mouth twitched. Bulma, I didn't mean it. If it wasn't for Goku, I would be dead, I would be cut in half by you. You said, I didn't mean it, is it over? Krillin intertwined his index fingers and kept backing away. Bulma, I, I really didn't mean it. Seeing Krillin being bullied by Bulma, Goku hurried to smooth things over. Bulma, okay, 13 don't blame Krillin, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't have been able to find the monster's weakness so quickly. By the way, the monster is dead, but the top leader of this Masruta hasn't been dealt with yet. Bulma was originally angry, but suddenly calmed down. Oh, right, hurry up, go find someone. Son Goku looked at number 8 and asked, by the way, who is the top leader of this Masruta? Number 8 thought for a while and said, his name is General Bai, I don't see him usually, and I don't know where he is. Quote. Son Goku. Bulma touched his chin and said, then do you know where the village chief is? I know. Then take us to find the village chief. After taking the village chief away, we might as well destroy this place completely. Krillin and Chi-Chi nodded. So, number 8 took Chi-Chi, Goku and others to the village chief's cell. As soon as they arrived at the door of the cell, they saw the ashes in the ashtray on the table. There was also a screen on the table, which was the room where they had just fought. You could vaguely see the cold wind whistling through the cracks cut by the Chi Yuan Zan. Bulma said. It seems that he has seen our fight and should have run away. Krillin clenched his fists. It's a pity that he can run away like this. After we destroy this place, no one should come back here, right? That's right, who would come back after destroying it? Bulma said. At this moment, while talking, Chi Chi rescued the village chief. 
However, it happened that Chi-Chi glimpsed the window from his angle. Through the window, he could clearly see a green helicopter with a red ribbon army printed on it flying away into the distance. Chi-Chi suddenly pointed to the window and shouted, Found it, he wants to fly away. Sun Goku was stunned, then looked at the window. Seeing the white general trying to escape on the plane, Sun Goku immediately put his hands in the Kamehameha posture. After just two seconds of charging, a powerful key blast shot towards the plane. With a boom, the plane exploded in the air. Sun Goku looked through the window at the clean and tidy sky. No body was found, it should be dead. Krillin. Not only dead, you scattered the ashes of the person. Chi Chi. Goku, well done. Several people took the village chief and left Masruta. Before leaving, Sun Goku completely blasted Masruta to the ground. It was dark. In the village not far from Masruta, several houses still had lights on. In a house that was neither too big nor too small. Goku, Krillin, Chi Chi, and Bulma were all inside, eating around a table. The owner of the house was the little red haired girl named Shinuo. In order to thank them for destroying the Masruta stronghold and eliminating the Red Ribbon Army branch, they even promised to revive the dead villagers. With the help of the neighbors, the little girl was busy all day. Advertisement. I made a lot of delicious food to invite them. To express my gratitude, Shi Chang brought a few villagers to see Nuo's house. I also brought some gifts. Originally, I came to accompany the guests. Unfortunately, they were all children. No one drank, just ate and chatted. Um, delicious, delicious, another bowl. Sun Goku turned into a ruthless rice machine, and he has been showing off his rice since he came here. There is no way, he is really hungry. In front of appetite, everything else is put aside. See Nuo looked at the bowl next to Goku and couldn't help swallowing. She turned her head to look at Krillin and whispered, Excuse me, how long has he not had a full meal? Krillin smiled. Don't be surprised, Goku has a big appetite since he was a child. Just a big appetite, won't he be full? See Nuo looked at the empty bowl next to Goku that was taller than him and was a little scared. Krillin nodded. Well, he just has a big appetite, he won't get sick from eating it. The current amount is just enough to fill his teeth. Sino nodded in realization. Oh, so, then he really has a good appetite. However, it seems that the food I prepared is still not enough. I'll go and steam a big pot of rice now, so that I can have more for him. Ha 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 ha, thank you so much, Goku thanked while eating. After hearing what Shinuo said and Goku replied, Bulma, Chi Chi and Krillin all burst into laughter. A villager said, thanks to your help, the village has finally returned to peace. We express our heartfelt gratitude. After this villager finished speaking, other villagers immediately followed. The whole village is very happy, I don't know how to thank you. Yes, yes, thank you so much. You are really the heroes and saviors of our village. Bulma was a little stunned when she heard their thanks and saw their simple appearance. The awkward expression of wanting to thank but not knowing what to do. Coupled with the scene of Goku eating ruthlessly. It seemed so familiar to Bulma. The light of memories flashed in her eyes. In the previous life, when little Goku came to Masruta, he didn't bring her with him. But after Goku destroyed Masruta, Leitien was broken. He went to Exidu to ask her to help repair the radar. So he destroyed the Red Ribbon Army later, and Bulma and Krillin followed Goku 100 all the way. Bulma looked at Goku who was concentrating on eating again, and the light in his eyes became stronger. He is obviously a little savage who likes to fight and has a big appetite, simple and pure. But his existence has saved so many people and villages. This is the Goku she is familiar with, simple, pure, and makes the world a better place. Bulma looked at Android 8 and asked. Number 8, where are you going next? Number 8 lowered his head a little awkwardly. I don't know either. Son Goku suddenly stopped eating and suggested. Although number 8 is an artificial man, he is a good person. He likes peace and hates war. He likes the quiet and peaceful life in the village. Why not let him stay in the village? I wonder if you are willing to accept him. After Son Goku finished speaking, the room became quiet. By the way, Son Goku stuffed another big mouthful of rice and waited for their response. The village chief suddenly said, Why don't number 8 come to our house? My wife and I are old and have no children. Number 8 can be our son and can do some farm work for us. Number 8 was surprised. Really, is it really possible? I am an artificial human. The village chief laughed and said, So what? Even among humans, there are so many bad people, right? Since they say you are a good person, then you must be a good person. It's settled. Bulma, Krillin and Chi-Chi all smiled. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to Number 8 for having a family. Number 8 was so moved that tears came out. Thank you, thank you, I am so happy. Chapter 63 Strategic Materials, Senzu Beans. The next day. After bidding farewell to the villagers, Bulma drove the plane and took everyone away from this land of ice and snow. Of, we are finally leaving the cold area. Finally, I can change into light clothes. Goku, where are we going next? Shenshion asked. Goku crossed his legs and lay on the chair and said, ask Bulma and let her decide. Chi Chi looked at Bulma again. While driving the plane, Bulma asked, have you heard of Karen Tower? Chi Chi scratched his head. Karen Tower. I haven't heard of it. Krillin asked. It is a very famous building, right? Bulma nodded. Yes, but this Karen Tower is very useful to you. 
There are immortals and super holy water on Karen Tower. As long as you climb up Karen Tower and drink the super holy water, you can gain powerful strength. Krillin and Chi-Chi were shocked. What? There is such a place? Sun Goku asked curiously. Bulma, how come you seem to know everything? Bulma smiled and said. Of course, I don't practice martial arts, so I have to read more books. There are so many places in the world that I know. Oh, that's it. Sun Goku nodded. Bulma continued. Master Roshi climbed the Karen Tower when he was young. I heard that it took him three years to get the super holy water. Krillin and Chi-Chi were shocked. What? Master Wu Tien climbed the Karen Tower. Even he took three years. Krillin muttered. It seems that the Karen Tower is not so easy to climb, at least it is much more difficult than practicing. Bulma said. That may not be the case. It depends on the qualifications. Master Roshi is unreliable. He also said that Kamehameha requires 50 years of practice. In the end, you three little brats can all use it, right? The three of them didn't say anything, but when they thought about it, that was the case. Krillin asked in some confusion. Bulma, should we go to the vicinity of Karen Tower next? Bulma smiled. I was thinking, the next stop is Karen Tower, for your practice. We can slow down the progress of finding the Dragon Ball. You three go to climb Karen Tower and spend some time. Well, let me think, with your talents, about a month will be enough. By then, you will all become stronger and will not be afraid of the Red Ribbon Army at all. Then we will continue to look for the Dragon Ball. Krillin touched his chin when he heard that it would take a month. Only one month. That seems to be okay. Chi-Chi looked at Krillin curiously. Hey, Krillin, I feel something is wrong with you. You seem to be in a hurry. Krillin was startled. Yes, no. Sun Goku couldn't help but look at Krillin and said, why not? Even I can see that you are in a hurry. But Krillin, why are you in a hurry? Do you need help? Krillin's face turned red, and he kept touching his index fingers together, but he couldn't speak. Speak, are you dumb? Shenshian urged. Bulma looked back at Krillin, then at Chi-Chi and Goku, and suddenly laughed. I know. Chi-Chi and Goku looked at Bulma. Bulma, what do you know? Chi-Chi looked like a melon. Bulma controlled the plane with one hand and took a cigarette with the other hand. Lit it casually, and then took a deep breath. I guess Krillin likes the little girl in the village next to Masruda. He wants to get the Dragon Ball as soon as possible to help revive her family. What? Like that girl? Sun Goku and Chi-Chi stared at Krillin with wide eyes. Chi-Chi suddenly realized. I remember, the girl's name is Sinuo. And Klin's face was already red at this moment, looking like a well-cooked barbecue. Advertisement. He quickly retorted. Bulma, don't talk nonsense. Chi-Chi raised her lips, and asked with her eyelashes curled. Krillin, is Shima still talking nonsense? I didn't expect you to meet a girl you like, congratulations. Bulma wanted to tease, but found that Krillin was already speechless. At this moment, Chi-Chi immediately patted Krillin. Krillin, since you like her, why are you shy? You see, I like Goku, and I never hide it. You are a boy, you should be braver. Krillin buried his head even lower. Chi-Chi continued. Besides, you are so good at martial arts. If she marries you, she will be marrying above her station. However, it's a pity that you didn't tell her. Now we are all gone, and she doesn't even know that you like her. I suggest that you wait until her parents are resurrected, and then come back to confess your love to her. Maybe she will marry you once she is touched. If you like her, just say it boldly. What if you have a one-sided love for her for a few years, and she is married when you come back, it will be such a pity. When Chi-Chi said this, Bulma immediately nodded in agreement. In the previous life, Chi-Chi was so fierce that she snatched Goku away in the spotlight. Bulma said. Yes, yes, Chi-Chi is right. Don't wait until it's too late, you haven't said it yet. When we were in that village, I felt a little bit that the little girl seemed to admire you very much. I remember that she even had physical contact with you. Maybe if you flirt with her a little, she will marry you. Krillin blushed and retorted. Bulma, I just feel sorry for her, what are you talking about? Bulma laughed. Yo yo yo. Little Krillin, little Krillin. I didn't expect you to be as lustful as Master Roshi. But when you encounter the real thing, you are so shy. Just be tough, wait until she gets married, it's useless for you to say anything. Seeing Krillin's face flushed. Chi-Chi encouraged again. That's it, if you like someone, you should say it boldly. I just like Goku, and I want to marry Goku when I grow up. Hearing Chi-Chi say that she likes him in public, Goku quickly looked out the window. Bulma took another puff of her cigarette, looked at Chi-Chi, and said, Chi-Chi, now we are familiar with each other, I won't be polite with you. As a girl, you should feel it. Although I am a little older, I also like Goku. Let's do as your father said. When Goku grows up, I will be the elder and you will be the younger. Chi-Chi nodded. Okay, let's go. Hearing their explicit conversation, Sun Goku continued to remain silent. It was difficult to divert the firepower, and Krillin didn't want to divert it back to roast him. So Krillin also retreated tactically and looked out the window with Sun Goku's sight. After a while, Bulma said. Good news, while we are collecting Dragon Balls, the Red Ribbon Army is not idle. They have collected three Dragon Balls, and the nearest one is near Karen Tower. Add the two Dragon Balls on us and the one near Karen Tower, there are three in total. The Red Ribbon Army will definitely come looking for us. 
I suggest that we go directly to Karen Tower, and after getting the Dragon Ball, we can climb the Karen Tower to practice, and wait for the enemy to come. Quote. Son Goku immediately agreed. Okay, let's do it. Chi Chi raised doubts. Why don't I help you two to guard? What if you two are climbing the tower? And you have consumed most of your physical strength, and you have no strength when the enemy comes. Krillin also nodded. Chi Chi is right. Bulma smiled and said. It's okay, there is a treasure on Karen Tower, called Senzu Beam. Eating one can not only heal injuries, but also quickly restore physical strength. This thing is a strategic level good thing. I'll see if I can ride the somersault cloud up, and ask Karen the Immortal to get some for you to farm. Son Goku was stunned. Bulma, do you know Karen the Immortal? Bulma smiled and said, I don't know him yet, but I think Senzu beans are just some food to her. They have functions, but they may not taste good, right? So I thought, if I exchange a truckload of food with him, I can at least get a big bag, right? Chapter 64 Don't Fight, We're One Family. Red Ribbon Army Headquarters. Damn it. Assholes. A bunch of trash. Such a big branch was wiped out by a group of kids, what a bunch of trash. This bunch of useless guys. Even that Dr. Gallo, what an invincible android, a bunch of garbage. From today on, cut his research funding in half. Red Marshal was smoking a cigar in a rage, and he was already talking incoherently. At this moment, a voice came. Report. Colonel Violet wants to see you. Red Marshal casually took a puff of the cigar, breathing in the thick smoke, trying to suppress his anger just now. Let her in. Yes, Red Marshal. Soon, Colonel Violet walked in. Report to the Marshal. Good news, I went to the West and found a Dragon Ball. Quote. As he spoke, Colonel Violet took out a golden Dragon Ball. The originally furious Red Marshal's face finally became less ugly. Oh, Colonel Violet is still capable, and actually got a Dragon Ball. Colonel Violet saluted respectfully. Thank you for the compliment, Marshal. Red Marshal smiled and said. Very good, the Red Ribbon Army needs such loyal ministers. Go, go down and get the reward. I will not treat the meritorious soldiers unfairly. Soon, Colonel Violet left the office. Seeing that Red Marshal's anger had subsided a little, Adjutant Black walked in tremblingly. Marshal, the group has collected two Dragon Balls. And now they are turning to the west, and seem to be heading for the third Dragon Ball. Red Marshal looked at the huge radar screen. I remember that Colonel Huang was looking for Dragon Ball in the west, right? Yes, Marshal. Marshal Red pondered for a moment and said. We already have three Dragon Balls. According to their more accurate radar, they will soon have three. There is another one, why is it not displayed on the radar? Adjutant Black said. Marshal, after testing, although the Dragon Ball radar can detect the location of the Dragon Ball. But if the Dragon Ball enters a living body, it will not be detected. Entering a living body, what does it mean, can it speak human language? Marshal Red turned his head and looked up at Adjutant Black with a fierce face. Adjutant Black said. That is to say, if it is swallowed by an animal, such as a dinosaur or a whale, it cannot be detected. But please rest assured that Dragon Ball cannot be digested after all. Once it is excreted by an animal or the animal dies, the radar will be able to detect it immediately. Marshal Red nodded. I see. However, the radar can't find the last Dragon Ball at the moment, so let's take their two Dragon Balls and the one from Colonel Huang. Adjutant Black asked curiously. Marshal, what do you mean? Humph, with Colonel Huang, I guess they can't stop them from finding the third Dragon Ball. So, I'm going to pay a high price to hire Dao Bai Bai, the world's number one killer, to kill those little devils and get the Dragon Ball back. Just then, the phone rang. Adjutant Black picked up the phone. But the next moment, Adjutant Black's face turned ashen. He said in horror. What? You said that everyone else was eliminated except you. Yes, that's right. Adjutant Black's tone also became stern. The Marshal is very angry, and the consequences are serious. If you can't get that BDFD, Dragon Ball, you'll die. There was also a panicked voice on the other end of the phone. Yes, I understand. I will find a way to complete the mission. Just then, Marshal Hong came over cursing and snatched the phone. Colonel Huang, listen carefully. I'll give you one more hour. If you can't find the Dragon Ball, I'll send Dao Bai Bai. If you fail, you will also become Dao Bai Bai's victim. Yes, I understand. Near Karen Tower, Colonel Huang was flying the plane with a worried look on his face. They found the Dragon Ball, in the hands of a savage near Karen Tower. Originally, they thought that if they killed him and took back the Dragon Ball, everything would be fine. Unexpectedly, the guy was invulnerable. After a battle. Except for him, his team was wiped out. This was because he flew high enough in the plane. The savage's javelin could not hurt him, so he saved his life. Now, the marshal gave a last hour ultimatum. If he couldn't find the dragon ball, he would be fine. Ball, he is doomed. He is in a dilemma. Damn it, if I had known I would lose my life, I would not have joined the Red Ribbon Army. Just then, Colonel Huang saw the situation under the Kalen Tower. The tall savage went to the river. Only a child was left here grilling fish. A plan flashed through his mind. This should be his son. I kidnapped a child and exchanged it for the dragon ball. Advertisement. I am so smart. He acted as soon as he said it. Colonel Huang drove the plane, reduced all the power. And soon flew to a low altitude. Throwing a rope and hooking the child Upa in one go. 
Colonel Huang's eyes lit up. I succeeded. Soon, Colonel Huang tied Upa to the plane and flew to the river. Upa's cry for help soon reached his father's ears. Wow, help, dad. Upa's father was shocked. Upa, why did you catch my son? Colonel Huang laughed. Ha ha ha, you know it in your heart. Listen carefully, if you want your son, hand over the dragon ball and throw it on the plane. Upa's father took out the dragon ball and said, I'll give you the dragon ball, come down quickly and put my son down. Quote. Do you think I'm a fool? If I go down, won't I be at your mercy? Upa's father said, I'm not as mean as you. This dragon ball is useless to me. Don't hurt my son. I told you to throw it up, don't you understand? Colonel Huang shouted. Upa's father was very worried. Then you better catch it. Don't hurt my son. While speaking, Upa's father aimed at the plane, mastered the strength, and threw the dragon ball to Colonel Huang. The dragon ball flew high into the sky. Just when it reached the height of the plane, it ran out of kinetic energy and stopped in the air for a while. In order to catch the dragon ball, Colonel Huang casually threw away Upa tied to his hand. Then, Colonel Huang drifted the plane and caught the dragon ball very lightly. Ball. However, at this moment, Upa fell from a high altitude. Ah, quote dot 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 quote. Upa, Upa's father was shocked and hurriedly raised his hands and ran towards the place where Upa landed. Unfortunately, according to calculations, he still couldn't catch up with Upa before he landed. But he still ran over as quickly as possible, but Upa's body was less than 5 meters away from the ground. And he was more than 10 meters away from Upa. It was too late. Upa's father's eyes were filled with fear. He seemed to have predicted the fate of his son being smashed into a pulp. Just when he was extremely anxious, a golden light flashed before his eyes. Upa's father's eyes flashed. The next moment, Upa sat on a golden cloud and floated in front of Upa's father. In addition to Upa, there was a little boy with a tail on the cloud, who was Son Goku. Dad, son, Upa excitedly jumped off the somersault cloud and jumped into his father's arms. His son was safe and sound, Upa's father looked at Son Goku with great gratitude. Thank you for saving my son. You're welcome, let's talk later, I'm here to get the dragon ball. While talking, Son Goku drove the somersault cloud and chased after Colonel Huang. A moment later, Colonel Huang was killed. Son Goku took the dragon ball and returned to the foot of Karen Tower. Upa said happily. Thank you for saving me, I'll treat you to grilled fish. Son Goku didn't want to eat and drink for free, but the delicious food was delivered to his hands, and his stomach secreted digestive substances at this moment. Son Goku took it easily. Thank you. Well, it's great to come back. Upa's father smiled and said, You just saved Upa, thank you so much. There are a lot of fish in the river next to it. If you like, I'll catch some more fish for you. Quote. Upa also nodded and said, My father is very good at catching fish. Son Goku smiled. Before he could speak, Upa's father stood up with a javelin. Another guy flying a plane is here, wait a minute, I'll go kill these bandits. Son Goku turned his head and looked over. Where are the bandits? Isn't that Bulma's plane? It's much slower than the somersault cloud. At this moment, Son Goku found that Upa hid behind his father. And Upa's father gestured with a javelin, as if he was going to throw it at the plane. Wait, Son Goku suddenly remembered something. Upa and his father looked at Son Goku. Son Goku swallowed the grilled fish in his mouth and hurriedly said, don't fight, that's one of us. What? Upa's father was stunned for a moment. Son Goku pointed to Bulma's plane and said, Those are my friends. We agreed to come here to climb Karen Tower. As they were talking, the transparent glass on the plane revealed the faces of Chi-Chi and Krillin, no longer waving hello to the ground. Upa's father was relieved. You scared me, I thought it was the bad guys again. Son Goku also touched his heart. You were too reckless, you almost knocked Bulma down, but we are all good people. Chapter 65. Dangers lurking around. Under Karen Tower. Bulma and the others saw Goku eating grilled fish by the fire and it was delicious. They had just traveled for half a day and were hungry. The pervasive fragrance had already made them cry with greed. So, Krillin, Chi-Chi and Bulma also came over and sat down to eat and drink with Goku. Upa's father saw this and immediately caught some fish to grill. Because Goku saved Upa and they were all polite, Upa's father entertained them warmly and provided unlimited grilled fish. He also chatted with them and learned about the outside world. At the same time, Krillin and the others also chatted with him to learn about the story of Karen Tower. The more they ate, the more delicious it was, and the more they talked, the more lively it became, and soon they became friends with Upa and his son. This towering holy tower is the Karen Tower. It is said that whoever can climb to the top of the tower by his own strength, and get the super holy water from the immortal living on the top of the tower, and drink it, his power will be doubled. Our family has been guarding the Karen Tower since our ancestors. Looking at the tall body and strong physique of Upa's father, Krillin couldn't help asking. Then, uncle, have you been up there? Chi-Chi also looked at Upa's father with curiosity. After Goku came here, he was still concentrating on eating. Otherwise, where would he get the strength to climb the tower for exercise? Upa's father looked at the Karen Tower, his eyes showing memories. I tried it once when I was young, but unfortunately I failed. Until now, no one has seen the top of the Karen Tower. Krillin looked at the towering Karen Tower and said, If you can drink the super holy water, your strength will be multiplied several times. 
I can't imagine how strong I can become if I climb the Karen Tower. Quote. Chi Chi looked at the Karen Tower, turned to look at Goku, and asked. No one has been able to climb to the top for so many years. Goku, do you think we can climb to the top? Son Goku nodded while eating. Yes, we can, we have trained enough with Master Roshi. And our physical fitness is much better than that of ordinary people. Chi Chi nodded thoughtfully. That being said, it always seems that it is not that simple. After all, we are not the world's number one master, and we cannot win the championship in the martial arts competition. And this tower has not been climbed for hundreds of years. It seems so difficult. Bulma smiled and said, There is no direct relationship between the two. You are all full and satisfied, so just climb up. According to my guess, the design of this tower is very unique, and people can exercise their bodies efficiently by climbing the tower. As for the super holy water, it may just be a gimmick. Quote. Krillin and Chi-Chi looked at the Karen Tower in surprise. Climbing the tower to exercise, it seems not bad. However, climbing the mountain is almost useless and has reached a bottleneck. Who knows if it will work if we just climb the tower instead. Goku looked at Bulma with curiosity. At this moment, he found that Bulma was much smarter than he thought. She could see through the essence of Karen Tower. At this moment, Son Goku was full. He patted his stomach and said, Okay, I'm full and have plenty of energy. Why don't we start climbing the tower now? Let's see who climbs the highest and who reaches the top of the tower first in the same amount of time. Quote. Chi Chi was excited. Okay, shall we start now? Krillin also moved his joints. Great, I seem to have eaten a little too much. I just want to digest the food. So, the three of them climbed up to the Karen Tower together. Before climbing the tower, Krillin and Chi Chi adjusted the gravity bracelets to normal. But Goku's bracelet has always maintained three times his body weight. However, he is still young and weighs only more than 30 kilograms. Three times his body weight is only 100 kilograms. For him, the load is not too heavy. Seeing the three figures climbing up the Karen Tower and disappearing. The little Upa exclaimed. They are really amazing. They can't be seen so quickly. Quote. Bulma watched the three little guys climb up the tower like monkeys, and a smile appeared on her lips when she saw that they disappeared so quickly. The next moment, Bulma sat on the cloud and flew towards the top of the tower. Krillin and his companions, who had just climbed for a while, saw Bulma flying up on the cloud and were surprised. What? Bulma, you cheated, how can you ride the cloud? Bulma slowed down the cloud to the same speed as Krillin. It's different. You climb the tower to become stronger, so you need to climb up by your own strength. I don't need to become stronger, so I don't need to drink any super holy water. Why can't I sit at the bottom of the cloud? Krillin blinked dumbly. She was right. She didn't practice martial arts, so why couldn't she? Just at this moment, Goku's urging voice came from above. Krillin, climb faster, I won't be able to see you in a while. Krillin retracted his thoughts and continued to climb up. Here we go. The three of them kept climbing higher, and the ground was far away at this moment. In their eyes, Upa and his son were as small as ants. But there was still no end in sight. However, the three of them were not surprised. If it was too easy to climb to the end, then Kalen Tower would not be so mysterious, and there would not be that incredible effect. Soon, a few hours passed. The afterglow of the setting sun fell under the towering Kalen Tower, covering this ancient land with a golden coat. On Kalen Tower, Bulma rode the somersault cloud and leisurely stepped onto the top of the tower. It was actually her first time to the top of the tower. At this moment, she was constantly looking at the surrounding environment. But she was worried about disturbing the cat. After all, she had only heard of Kalen the Immortal, but had never seen him, and didn't know what his personality was. She was a little confused, so she shouted. Is anyone there? As Kalen the Immortal, a white cat walked up to Bulma with a cane. No one has come up for a long time. But unfortunately, you came up on the cloud, so it doesn't count. Bulma smiled. Ah, yes, I'm not here to practice, I just came up to find you. Kalen Immortal was stunned for a moment. Looking for me. Do you know me? If you're not here to practice, what do you want to talk to me about? Bulma nodded. You should have seen that there are three people climbing the Kalen Tower below. I just came to help them practice. Kalen Immortal scratched his head. Help them practice, how to help. Bulma took out a universal capsule and said. Sometimes, they need to treat their injuries and restore their physical strength in a short period of time. Which inevitably requires the use of senzu beans. So, I want to discuss a business with you, and exchange some delicacies for some senzu beans with you. Quote. Kalen was shocked. You are not simple, you don't even have any martial arts skills. But you know the power of senzu beans, how do you know? Bulma smiled and said. It doesn't matter, come, move aside, I want to throw it. As he said, Bulma pressed the capsule, and as long as he let go, he could quickly release the contents of the capsule. Kalen stretched out his claws and stopped him. Wait. Before he finished speaking, Bulma had thrown the capsule out. The smoke from the capsule dissipated, and a large area of delicious food was laid out neatly on the ground. All kinds of ham, luncheon meat, canned food, beef jerky, dried fish, and even cat canned food. Although most of them are canned food, fortunately, they are all branded and taste good. Kalen looked at the canned meat all over the ground, and a trace of astonishment flashed in his eyes. They are all things that cats like to eat. Bulma asked. 
How about it? How about exchanging these with you? Advertisement. Karen said. Those who can ride the somersault cloud are all good people. If you need it, I can give you a jar, no need to exchange. Speaking of this, Karen pointed to the two jars behind him. The two jars were full of senzu beans. The pickle jar made the senzu beans look worthless. That was senzu beans. Bulma was stunned to see so many senzu beans. She thought of many scenes, but she had never thought of this. She also said to exchange a pack to save for use. Now think about it. She is a rich girl from the capsule company, she is so petty. She just wanted to exchange a pack of senzu beans. I didn't expect it, I didn't expect that the senzu beans were actually two pickle jars. Such a precious thing, but there are so many. She thought of her previous life. If there were so many senzu beans in her previous life, how could the earth be ruled by androids for 20 years? The culprit was that Yahirobi. He is useless, cowardly, and a big eater. If he hadn't wasted too much, this amount of senzu beans would be enough to make many people grow into terrifying masters. Bulma remembered that before she died, Ying Yiluo seemed to be still alive. He would ask for some snacks from the survivors from time to time and hide some snacks. Now think about it, Yahirobi is really a disaster. After Yahirobi's head flashed through his mind, Bulma quickly erased that guy from his mind. Sage, you just wanted to give me a jar of senzu beans, right? Karen nodded. Yes, since you are useful, I will give you a jar. Anyway, there is still a jar, and I can't finish it. Although the yield of this thing is not high, I am just a fairy cat and my appetite is not big, so I will accumulate more and more. That's great, thank you Karen. Quote. You're welcome. Bulma ran to the jar excitedly. She hugged it gently. The jar of beans weighed at least 60 to 70 kilograms, and it was a bit difficult for her to lift it. However, this kind of treasure was more precious to her than diamonds. She still packed the beans in batches and filled her plane. However, after a while, she left four bags of beans on her body, and then put them back into the jar. Karen Sama was very curious. What's wrong? Why did you put the beans back? Bulma smiled awkwardly and said, Well, I thought about it. If my plane breaks down and explodes, wouldn't all the beans be ruined? Let's put it here. I'll take it when I need it. Quote. Karen Sama nodded. As that's so, it's up to you. The beans in that jar belong to you from now on. Bulma said gratefully. Thank you. By the way, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? What if a fat man comes here to eat senzu beans as a meal and wants to live here for a long time, you must not let him live here. Kalen Sage smiled. How could anyone come here to eat senzu beans as a meal? Don't worry, these senzu beans were originally reserved for martial artists who climbed up to grab the super holy water. No one has come for many years, and the consumption is far from keeping up. Even if it is eaten as a meal, my jar alone is enough for decades. What's more, I have been planting it. Anyway, I won't touch the jar I have given you. Bulma smiled awkwardly and said nothing more. If Goku didn't bring the fat man here, he shouldn't have come. Just at this moment, Karen Sage walked to the pile of food brought by Bulma with a calm face and opened a bag of ham. To be honest, I haven't eaten food from the human world for a long time, and I still miss it. Suddenly, Karen's face changed. Hmm, it's quite delicious. Seeing that Karen liked it, Bulma looked happy, really. As long as you like it, it must be more delicious than senzu beans. If you like the delicious food I brought, just ask me in the future, and I will send it to you again. Karen smiled. Thank you very much, these foods are enough for me to eat for three months if nothing goes wrong. If you don't send me delicious food after I have cultivated my taste, I won't do it if you don't send me delicious food. Ha ha ha, three months, I come here every two months. Bulma laughed. Although it loves to eat, it is not very greedy for food. It just feels that Bulma is a good person. Using this thing is also for some justice and good purposes. So, it left her a particularly easy step to climb. So that she can come to get senzu beans often in the future. Just when Bulma was about to say goodbye to Karen. Suddenly, the water tank showed Goku, Krillin and Chi-Chi climbing the tower. It turns out that the method of the sage is to see many things in the lower world. However, it is not a new thing, it is just like surveillance. Bulma looked at the progress of Goku and the others climbing the tower again. The physical strength is almost exhausted, and it is not even halfway. This proves that this Karen tower is still very useful to them at present. At this moment, a water tank next to it suddenly rippled. She saw that the Red Ribbon Army invited the world's number one killer to kill Son Goku and herself. The man stepped on the pillar and flew in this direction. It is estimated that he will arrive in half an hour. Bulma's eyes fixed. I remember. He is the junior brother of Suru Sage, Dao Bai Bai. No, I have to let Goku and the others replenish their physical strength quickly. Just when Bulma was about to ride the somersault cloud to go down, the first water tank rippled. She saw many armed men hiding in the West City, monitoring a giant. That giant was none other than her own capsule company. Bulma was shocked again. Oh my god, the Red Ribbon Army has set its sights on my parents. It seems that they already know my identity. She looked at the three Dragon Balls in her bag and instantly understood the other party's plan. If you can't get the Dragon Ball by force, are you going to threaten my parents in exchange for the Dragon Ball? Bulma clenched her fists. Somersault Cloud. The next moment, she flew to the center of Karen Tower on the Somersault Cloud. Goku, hurry up, 
ride the somersault cloud to my house and protect my parents. Krillin, Chi-Chi, you guys don't stay here. Eat a senzu bean quickly and leave here with me. Krillin, Chi-Chi and Goku were all stunned. What do you mean? Bulma said. The Red Ribbon Army hired the world's number one killer Dao Bai Bai. I'm worried that you are not his opponent yet, let's retreat first. Quote. Son Goku said. Momo Pai Pai, I should be able to beat him, right? Even if not, the three of us can, right? That's right, we must have confidence in our strength. Chi-Chi said confidently. However, Bulma countered. Continued. It's not okay to defeat him, I found out that they sent people to monitor the capsule company. Now the priority is to resolve the crisis for my parents. Otherwise, if we defeat Momo Pai Pai, the next moment the Red Ribbon Army will move the forces of Exidu, and then my parents will be in danger. Quote. Krillin clenched his fists. These people are so despicable, they actually endangered Bulma's parents. Son Goku said. If it's as I expected, they should also threaten the safety of Kame Island. However, they can't do anything to Master Mutant. Quote dot. Chapter 66. The world's number one killer, vulnerable. After a few words of discussion, Krillin suddenly slipped and fell. Ah, help. Seeing this, Son Goku hurriedly rolled and crawled towards Krillin. Krillin. Get on the tower. No, I have no strength left. Son Goku was full of energy and climbed the tower in the opposite direction. He stepped on the climbing position of Karen Tower and shot towards Krillin. Bulma was stunned for a moment and quickly caught up with him on the somersault cloud. Unfortunately, Krillin could not ride the somersault cloud, and Bulma did not have much strength, so she could not pull Krillin, who was falling faster. Fortunately, Goku ran down fast enough and soon surpassed Krillin and dragged him to the tower. However, at this moment, it was still a long way from falling to the ground. At this time, they realized that they had only climbed halfway up Karen Tower, and they had to come down first, down to the bottom of the tower, or climb to the top of the tower. The somersault cloud can still be used, but the plane can only take off from the ground. Unless Krillin and Chi-Chi were left on the tower and allowed to continue climbing the tower, Goku and Bulma left on the somersault cloud. But Bulma couldn't give up the safety of these two people for her parents. It was unrealistic for everyone to escape from here within half an hour. The only urgent thing was to recover their strength and deal with Dao Pai Pai. Fortunately, Bulma got a lot of Senzu beans. So, they recovered their strength and rushed to the bottom of the tower. Goku was worried about Bulma's safety, so he let her fly to Karen Tower on the somersault cloud. A moment later, Chi-Chi, Krillin, and Goku all came to the bottom of the tower. Uncle, Upa, you all stay away. There will be a powerful killer coming soon. Is there an enemy invading Karen's holy land? Then I will fight together. 570. No, no, this is our enemy, you stay away. Quote. Upper's father wanted to help, but was stopped by Goku. His strength is much stronger than ordinary people, but it is not comparable to Dao Pai Pai. Son Goku was not very sure at the moment. Climbing the tower is no problem, but he has not experienced the training of snatching the super holy water from Karen Sage. I don't know who is stronger than Dao Pai Pai at this time. For the safety of others, he removed the military experience bracelet. Soon, Upper and his son hid far away. Son Goku put the three dragon balls on the ground, and then waited for Dao Pai Pai to arrive. At this moment, a figure appeared. Dao Pai Pai stood on a pillar and shot towards them. I saw him tiptoe, and the pillar suddenly turned to the ground and shot towards them. In an instant, the stone pillar was inserted into the ground, Dao Pai Pai jumped lightly, and landed steadily in front of the three people. Seeing the three dragon balls on the ground, the mustache at the corner of his mouth rose slightly. Wow, you actually put the dragon ball on the ground. The ball is out. It seems that facing me, the world's number one killer, Dao Bai Bai. You know that resistance is useless. Even I didn't expect that you are ready to die calmly. Dao Bai Bai looked at Krillin, Chi Chi and Sun Goku and frowned. Hey, that's not right. My mission is for four people. You are one short. Did you hide someone? Krillin walked forward. I didn't hide someone. I killed you. The three of us are enough. Dao Bai Bai pointed at himself in surprise. Did I hear it right? You guys are not hiding. You guys actually said you want to kill me. Da, I am dying of laughter. As a disciple of Master Roshi, Krillin thought that he could fight with Master Roshi for a while, and he did not think that Dao Pai Pai would be stronger than Master Mutant. Krillin said, whether I can kill you or not, we will know after trying. After that, Krillin took a step ahead, stepped on the ground, and punched Dao Pai Pai fiercely. However, just when Krillin was about to hit Dao Pai Pai, Dao Pai Pai dodged. It was as if he just jumped lightly and dodged his charged attack. Krillin did not expect that he missed. Just when he lost his target, Dao Pai Pai swept his backhand kick. Krillin's face was suddenly printed with a big shoe print, and he flew backwards. Until Krillin's body hit the Karen Tower, he fell to the ground. Krillin. Krillin. Son Goku and Chi-Chi looked at Krillin. They were afraid that Krillin would be killed by Dao Pai Pai in one move. Fortunately, Krillin spoke up the next moment. Damn it, how is it possible? I can't even take a single move. Goku took his starting stance and confronted Dao Pai Pai. Chi-Chi ran over to see Krillin. Krillin, how are you? Can you stand up? Hiss, it hurts so much, my waist is broken. Hearing Krillin say that his waist was broken, Chi-Chi was shocked. How is it possible? He was so seriously injured after just one move. 
Chi Chi looked at Dao Pai Pai in disbelief. Dao Pai Pai sneered. In this world, he is proud enough to be able to take one of my moves without dying. Sun Goku heard Krillin's voice and breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, Krillin was very strong and was not killed in one move. While confronting Dao Pai Pai, he said, Chi Chi, take Krillin away. Don't worry about his injury, just feed him Senzu beans. Quote. Dao Bai Bai smiled and said, you are on my task list, and you still want to run. Sorry, my task goal is to kill the four of you, not one of you can escape. It happened in a split second, Dao Bai Bai pointed at Chi Chi and Krillin with ten fingers. Dong Dong Bo. The killer is different from the martial artist, and the first move is a killing move. A golden energy suddenly shot towards Krillin and Chi Chi. At the critical moment, Sun Goku flashed and blocked the Dong Dong Bo head on. Boom. After a thunderous explosion, Sun Goku was submerged in smoke and dust. Chi Chi's eyes showed deep fear, and she couldn't help but yelled, Goku. Tears also flowed down at this moment. However, as soon as she shouted, a gust of wind appeared in the smoke and dust, and the smoke and dust were swept away in an instant. Sun Goku was still standing there, but there was a hole burned on his clothes. And Chi Chi, seeing Goku intact, the fear in her eyes also subsided and turned into joy. Great, Goku, I knew you were fine. After receiving Dao Pai Pai's whole wave, Sun Goku also breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that his strength is now above Dao Pai Pai. Well, I'm fine, you quickly give Krillin the Senzu bean, hurry up. Okay, okay, as he said, Chi Chi took out a Senzu bean and stuffed it into Krillin's mouth. Krillin chewed it gently and swallowed it, and immediately found that he could move. He couldn't help but be surprised, this Senzu bean is really a good thing. Not to mention that it can heal broken bones, even a broken waist can be instantly restored to its original state. This bean has the word, Senzu, in it, it's really amazing. On Karen Tower, Bulma, who was looking at the water, was also very surprised. Because, Karen said, Sun Goku's strength is not inferior to Dao Pai Pai. When she saw Sun Goku take Dao Pai Pai's move intact, she completely put down her hanging heart. If he can take the energy wave without injury, then there is no problem. If it is Sun Goku who takes the energy wave without injury, then there is no problem. Dao Pai Pai looked at Sun Goku, then looked at his fingers, a little surprised. So far, no one who has been hit by my whole wave has survived. And you can catch my whole wave with your bare hands, it's not easy. Advertisement. Dao Pai Pai looked at Krillin and Chi Chi behind him, and continued, No wonder you little ghosts. You can kill so many people in the Red Ribbon Army. It turns out that you are really capable. Sun Goku said. The world's number one killer, hurry up. Oh nine. Dao Pai Pai snorted coldly and rushed towards Sun Goku. However, Dao Pai Pai threw a swift punch, and Sun Goku dodged it sideways. He then swept his kick with his backhand, and Sun Goku dodged it again by bending his waist. When Goku dodged Dao Pai Pai's kick, he lay on the ground and kicked Dao Pai Pai with both legs. Dao Pai Pai missed two consecutive moves and was kicked away again, obviously not reacting. He quickly rolled and circled to the ground, stabilizing his body. He threw his hair behind him, pretending to be a master, and said, Good boy, you are so fast. Your moves look familiar. Let me ask you, who did you learn from? Sun Goku's eyes became cold. Did he find out that he was not his opponent and wanted to build a relationship? Or, was he trying to find a way to throw a bomb? Sun Goku said impatiently, Stop talking nonsense, you have too much nonsense. Dao Bai Bai snorted coldly, Humph, if you don't accept my toast, then I will let you see my real power. As he said that, Dao Bai Bai tore off his shirt and rushed towards Sun Goku again with his bare chest. This time, he was much more cautious in his moves, and unlike before, he was too concerned about his face. All kinds of moves whizzed towards Sun Goku quickly. However, his moves were as fast as lightning and full of power. But they were all blocked by Sun Goku. Just when he was thinking about changing his moves, Sun Goku stopped blocking. But seized a flaw in his move and slashed him in the face. Dao Bai Bai's body suddenly fell to the ground, raising a lot of smoke and dust. The smoke and dust dissipated, and Dao Bai Bai wiped his face in embarrassment. Damn it, you hit me in the face. I'll let you taste my strongest whole wave. If you can't dodge it, you'll be dead. As he said that, Bai Bai started to jump with his fingers. Danger. Get out of the way, Goku. Chi Chi and Krillin watched Dao Bai Bai holding back his big move from behind, and hurried to persuade Goku. However, Sun Goku took a horse stance with both hands in front of him. Then I'll take it with both hands, and see if you still have so much nonsense. A cruel smile appeared at the corner of Dao Bai Bai's mouth, and the next second, his whole wave suddenly shot towards Goku. With a swish sound, a golden light suddenly shot out and went straight to Sun Goku's palm. Sun Goku used both hands to concentrate more of his breath on his hands, and steadily blocked the whole wave. Dao Bai Bai was still increasing his strength. However, this move could not hurt Sun Goku at all, but only pushed him back continuously. Finally, the whole wave ended. Dao Pai Pai was already panting, but Sun Goku was still unscathed. How is it possible? How can you, a little kid, block my full strength whole wave? Just when Dao Pai Pai was surprised, Sun Goku moved. You let me take your strongest move. Then, you should also take my strongest move. If you can withstand it, I will spare your life. 
As he said this, Sun Goku put his hands on his waist and muttered something. Kamaha, hi, he, gong. Originally, Dao Bai Bai had lost confidence. But the moment he heard Kamehameha, Dao Bai Bai suddenly remembered why his moves were so familiar. That was the move of Master Roshi, the mortal enemy of Crane Immortal. Dao Bai Bai said, since you can take my moves with both hands, I can also take your moves with both hands. So, Dao Bai Bai also stood forward like Sun Goku, blocking the front with both hands. As Sun Goku's key blast blasted towards Dao Bai Bai. Instantly, he felt the hot breath on his hands. A horrified feeling made his hair stand on end. Irresistible, difficult to resist, unstoppable. He wanted to run. But it was futile to think about anything at this moment. One thousandth of a second after the white light touched his palm. It quickly eroded his whole body. F. He could only scream unwillingly. In the white light, Dao Pei Bai's body was torn into pieces, and then turned into ashes. A generation of killers was completely destroyed at this point. Sun Goku exhaled deeply and looked at his bracelet. He had surpassed Dao Pei Bai without climbing up the Karen Tower to practice, thanks to this gravity bracelet. Goku, you are so awesome. Too strong, Goku. Seeing Sun Goku defeat Dao Pei Bai. Chi Chi and Krillin ran over and gave him a big hug. Goku, how much strength do you hide? We were obviously practicing together. I was almost killed by Dao Pei Bai in one move, but you killed him, so awesome. Chi Chi also looked at Goku with surprise. Yeah, Goku, you're so awesome. Dao Pai Pai is no match for you. We're training together, but it feels like neither of us can catch up with you. It seems that we have to increase the multiple of the gravity bracelet in the future. We have to keep working hard to catch up with you. Sun Goku smiled. How about we collect all the Dragon Balls and then climb the tower with weights? Okay, that's a good idea, Chi Chi and Krillin agreed. Just when the three of them were chatting happily, Bulma rode the somersault to the ground. Goku, Chi Chi, Krillin, we can't stop. We must rush to their headquarters and kill them without a single piece of armor left before the Red Ribbon Corps reacts to Dao Pai Pai being killed. Krillin was a little surprised, but what if they grab your parents to threaten you? Bulma clenched his fists, so, we have to destroy their headquarters and cut off their commander-in-chief before they react. If we don't make it in time, Bulma looked down at the Dragon Ball on the ground. If we don't make it in time, we still have Dragon Balls. Anyway, we can't give them the collected Dragon Balls. Chi Chi scratched his head, what a pity, it would be great if we knew the whereabouts of the last Dragon Ball. Thinking of the last Dragon Ball, Bulma thought of the Chowder Trio. They made a special box and hid the Dragon Ball. Bulma seemed to have a clue and immediately said, don't think too much, let's go to the Red Ribbon Army headquarters. Sun Goku looked at Bulma, then at Chi Chi and Krillin. Bulma, it's too dangerous there, it's not safe to take you there. You, Chi Chi and Krillin stay here, I'll go to the Red Ribbon Army alone. Chapter 67 Taisy returns to Capsule Corporation. Red Ribbon Army headquarters. Report to the Marshal, according to the radar, three Dragon Balls are coming towards us quickly. Red Marshal laughed. Ha ha ha, it's Dao Bai Bai. You are so efficient, you got three Dragon Balls at once. Now, with the three Dragon Balls we have, we only need one more. Adjutant Black nodded and agreed. Yes, it seems that professionals have to do professional things. The strength of professional killers should not be underestimated. It's just that the price is too expensive. Red Ribbon Army Headquarters, Outdoor. The scout on the patrol plane number 84 is patrolling. He has received the order to welcome Dao Bai Bai. Suddenly, he saw a figure approaching from afar. And immediately said, as Mr. Dao Bai Bai back. When the figure got closer and closer, the scout looked down at Dao Bai Bai's photo and was suddenly surprised. Oh no, it's not Dao Bai Bai. Just when he was about to report the reconnaissance situation, Goku had penetrated his helicopter. In an instant, the plane exploded and the communication equipment was destroyed. The headquarters suddenly lost contact with the number 84 reconnaissance plane and immediately urged anxiously. Number 84, please answer. Damn it, speak up, what are you doing during working hours? No way, turn on the laser monitor. Soon, the figure of Sun Goku riding the somersault cloud fell on the big screen of the entire Red Ribbon Army. Whether it was an adjutant, a colonel, or a colonel, they were all surprised to see Sun Goku on the screen. Marshal, it's bad, it's not Mr. Dao Bai Bai who came back with three Dragon Balls, but that guy Sun Goku. 13. Hearing the report from his subordinates, the Red Marshal was surprised. What did you say? What happened? The Red Marshal quickly looked at the monitoring screen. I saw little Goku riding the somersault cloud and breaking into the Red Ribbon Army alone. Sparks and lightning all the way, like cutting melons and vegetables, strolling leisurely. The Red Marshal's hair stood on end, and he was immediately terrified. What happened? How could that little guy come here? Did he pass by Dao Bai Bai? Adjutant Black's forehead was covered with cold sweat. Could it be that Dao Bai Bai was killed by this guy? The Red Marshal immediately yelled. Go quickly, don't let him go forward. Report to the marshal, he has come in and is now on the platform of Area 12. DX. The marshal looked at the surveillance of Platform 12. I saw that the officers of the Red Ribbon could not hurt Sun Goku even if they were shooting with machine guns. Or bombed by fighter jets. Sun Goku was like a man in an empty space, and he was simply killing like crazy. In a short moment, Platform 12 was cleared. Report to the marshal, that guy is coming in our direction. 
Marshal, for your safety, you should move to the basement first. Adjutant Black suggested. Red Marshal said angrily. Don't joke, is such a little kid worth hiding from? The Red Ribbon Army is the most powerful army in the world, invincible. Adjutant Black's forehead was sweating. But, that little guy seems to have killed Dao Bai Bai, the world's number one killer. We have tried to contact him many times just now, but we couldn't get in touch with him. Dao Bai Bai's phone has been destroyed. We sent people to check, but there were only the pillars used by Dao Bai Bai, but no one of his. According to our inference, Tiao Bai Bai should be dead. Red Marshal said disdainfully. What do you mean by the world's number one killer who has never failed? Humph, that guy is too arrogant and has no respect for me at all. It's better if he dies, and he hasn't paid yet. But, Marshal, if he calls us later, what should we do? Why are you panicking? As he said, Red Marshal took out his phone. It seems that this is the only way to get the Dragon Ball. Hello, is this General Shaw? It's the Marshal, help me, the old man on the island is very powerful. We were wiped out, and I was the only one who escaped. Hearing the phone ring, the Red Marshal immediately became furious. What? You useless guy, come back and wait for death. D-E-B-D-B. -E -B. The Marshal hung up the phone angrily, and then quickly made another call. Colonel Violet, how is the situation in Exidu? Report to the Marshal, everything is normal, have you taken action? A smile immediately appeared on the face of the Red Marshal. Very good, you are worthy of being Colonel Violet. You have half an hour to tie up the brief couple. Then take a photo and send it to me. Marshal, it doesn't take that long, ten minutes is enough. The Marshal laughed, ha 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 ha, it's Colonel Violet again, you are efficient, I will give you a promotion when you come back. Thank you, Marshal, go, take action quickly. Exidu, Colonel Violet waved his hand. Everyone, go out and tie up the briefs. Hurry up, I want to see them tied up and brought to me within five minutes. Yes, sir, although Bulma's family is very rich, the place is very large, and it is also in the downtown area. Advertisement. But, after all, Exidu has always been a peaceful city, and there are no excessive defense measures. Soon, Violet's men occupied the capsule company and held all the employees hostage. And tied up the brief couple and took them to the garden of the Universal Capsule Company. Colonel Violet sat in the garden drinking tea. Come on, take a few photos of them and send them to the master. Yes, sir. Brief was suddenly tied up, and he didn't react. He looked at Violet. Just one glance, he found that Violet had a good appearance and figure. Brief suddenly became interested. This girl has a really good figure and looks good. I wonder if she is married. Violet frowned. Are you the chairman of the capsule company, Mr. Brief? Brief nodded. It's me, it's me, have you admired me for a long time and want to date me? Hearing Brief's words, Violet had a hash mark on his forehead. Just after getting in touch with him, I found that this person suffers from severe social bullshit. He was kidnapped and still talked so much, and in front of his wife. Brief's words were shocking. Miss, with your figure and appearance, it's a pity to be an officer. Your beauty and figure are not displayed at all. How about I invest one billion in you and make you a big star? It's easier than making money as an officer. As long as you let me go, I will immediately start looking for an agency to package you. Colonel Violet was originally dismissive. To her, Brief's words were just like those of the stinky men she met every day, just empty promises. Just when she was about to refute, she suddenly saw the watch on Brief's wrist and his gold-rimmed glasses. If it's not unexpected, the diamonds on the watch are worth hundreds of billions. The two diamonds on the nose pads of the glasses are also worth hundreds of millions. At this time, Violet reacted. Whether what he said was true or not, he really had the ability. He is the inventor of Capsule Corporation and the richest man in the world, rich enough to rival a country. Back then, didn't she work for the Red Ribbon Army just to make money? It's not a righteous organization, nor does it pledge allegiance to a certain country, so how can there be any loyalty? It's even an evil organization that resells arms. If what he said can really be done, then she will not only be clean, but also earn over 100 million a month. There is just one thing to worry about. If she defected from the Red Ribbon Army, she would probably suffer strong retaliation. Dot 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 dot. Those little guys can completely destroy the Red Ribbon Army headquarters just like they destroyed Masruda. And at least kill the two key senior officials, Marshal Red and Adjutant Black. At this moment, Violet was shaken. She looked at her subordinates and asked, have you sent the photo to the Marshal? The subordinates immediately nodded. Colonel, it has been sent. Violet nodded. They are both so old, they can't run away anyway, let's loosen the rope first. Yes, Colonel, after untying the ropes of the brief couple, Mrs. Brief, that is, Bulma's mother, turned to look at the ugly soldier who knew her. She smiled and asked, This handsome man, you look so strong, are you interested in dating me? The soldier was startled, a drop of cold sweat dripped on his forehead, but he didn't dare to speak. Violet's eyes showed a strange look. This couple doesn't seem to have a good relationship. Just when Violet was wondering, a shadow covered the garden. She immediately looked up. A strange flying object was slowly landing. 363 inches what is that? Is it a plane? The huge UFO found a relatively wide position to land. A moment later, a beam of light appeared on the UFO. Two people followed the light and appeared in front of everyone. Ties and Jack appeared in the garden. Seeing the army surrounding her parents, Ties was curious. 
Hey, Dad, when did you start raising private soldiers? Jack saw something unusual at a glance. You are stupid. Ties, they are not private soldiers. Have you ever thought that your parents were kidnapped? What? Jack immediately pulled out his laser gun and pointed it at Colonel Violet. Just as the soldiers around the briefs were about to move, Jack suddenly rushed up and dealt with them with three punches and two kicks. Violet shot at Jack, but Jack's eyes were very special. Easily dodged the bullet, and then easily subdued the Supreme Commander Violet. As a galactic patrolman, he has some combat experience. In fact, Jack can be immune to Earth's bullets just by relying on his skin, but it is a bit painful. He had no pressure at all to deal with some armed Earthlings. After subduing a few ordinary Earthlings, Jack said seriously, I am Jack, an elite member of the Galactic Patrol. If you don't want to go to the Galactic Prison, put down your weapons. Violet's head was still pointed at by Jack's laser gun. She immediately ordered everyone to put down their weapons. So, Jack succeeded in pretending to be cool and subdued a group of armed men. Taisy looked at Jack curiously. Hey, this is not an interstellar crime, do you care too? We are all friends, am I not helping you? Next time you open a new book, please portray me as more heroic. Taisy shrugged. Sorry, in my story setting, patrolmen can only be used to highlight the protagonist's awesomeness. D053, Brief looked at Colonel Violet and asked. Beautiful lady, may I ask why you kidnapped me? Violet swallowed. Our commander-in-chief wants to use you two as bargaining chips to force your daughter Bulma to hand over the Dragon Ball. Chapter 68 Death of Red Marshal Red Ribbon Army Headquarters. Help. Run. It was discovered that Sun Goku was invulnerable to swords and guns. He could not only ignore bullets, but also bounce back rockets. The Red Ribbon Army was terrified. Monster. Don't kill me. The fire had spread to the headquarters and had already burned several buildings. The flames were soaring into the sky, and the smoke was rolling. The countless soldiers who were beaten and scattered fled everywhere. The Red Ribbon Army headquarters had already become a mess. Sun Goku alone, Saping had already killed through the Red Ribbon Army headquarters. Seeing the fleeing soldiers, the Red Marshal was furious. Damn, a group of cowardly guys, what kind of Red Ribbon Army is this? Adjutant Black added fuel to the fire and said, the remaining soldiers are also running for their lives. The Red Marshal finally felt scared, and sweat broke out on his forehead. Adjutant Black said, in short, we underestimated the strength of Sun Goku and others before, which caused such losses. Marshal, if you have the Green Mountains, you will not be afraid of running out of firewood. Let's give up Dragon Ball and retreat quickly. The Marshal said angrily. Nonsense, it's almost complete, how can I watch Dragon Ball being taken away? Adjutant Black continued. But, life is still important. Just at this time, Red Marshal received the photo sent to him by Colonel Violet. The brief couple was kidnapped, and many guns were pointed at them. That blue-haired Bulma didn't come. I don't know if this thing can threaten that guy. Red Marshal looked at Adjutant Black and said, put this photo on the big screen. Let the man named Sun Goku see it. Just say that if you don't want them to die, put down the Dragon Ball and leave. Quote. Adjutant Black nodded. Yes, Marshal. Sun Goku is still fighting his way through. In fact, with the guidance of the Dragon Ball radar, he can quickly break into the headquarters of the Red Ribbon Army. However, he understands that many of his subordinates are ambitious guys. Even if he breaks into the Marshal's office and kills the Marshal, it will be useless. Soon someone will replace him to take over the Red Ribbon Army. For example, the Black Adjutant. Knowing that the Red Marshal actually sacrificed the lives of so many soldiers for the little wish of growing taller. Will feel obliged to kill him and replace him. Then find a way to use the giant Red Ribbon Army to rule the world. So, Goku wanted to break them up as much as possible and scare them away. The desperate criminals might still dream of a great future. But most people would still be afraid and dare not write about the evil organization again. He wanted to make it impossible for this organization to gather sand and form a tower after it collapsed today. Help, run, I will never do bad things again. As Sun Goku disintegrated every inch of the Red Ribbon Army inch by inch. More and more soldiers and officers fled. Until, no one dared to resist in the entire headquarters. Soon, Sun Goku came to the nearest position of Dragon Ball. He was about to meet the Red Marshal of the Red Ribbon Army. I don't know if he will be shot by the Black Adjutant now. Sun Goku continued to move forward. Suddenly, the big screen next to him lit up. A picture appeared. It was the garden of the capsule company in Exidu. The brief couple was pointed at by countless guns, and they were tied with ropes. Sun Goku frowned slightly. Is it still too slow? They have already kidnapped the briefs. Sun Goku did not push forward. After a moment, Red Marshal laughed and walked out of the office. Ha ha ha, Sun Goku, right. Sun Goku looked at Red Marshal, with no expression. Red Marshal smiled and said, although we didn't find your grandfather. We found Bulma's home. Are you surprised or surprised? Advertisement. Sun Goku looked calm and asked, how can we release him? Hearing Sun Goku ask him directly how to release the people, Red Marshal was relieved. He is a child after all. He still values friendship. Red Marshal said, It's very simple, give me your Dragon Ball. And give me your Dragon Ball radar, and I will let you release them. Sun Goku thought about it and realized that there was still a missing Dragon Ball, which should be in the hands of Pilaf and his gang, and it was still in time. 
As long as Bulma's parents were rescued before all the Dragon Balls were collected, it would be fine. As for what Bulma said, there was a Dragon Ball anyway. If they were killed, using the Dragon Ball to revive them. It's not feasible. Let's not talk about how Bulma could say these words, how sad she was at the time. Just when I saw the photo and heard Red Marshall's threat. I completely understood that he couldn't just watch them being kidnapped. Even if he knew that they would be resurrected sooner or later, he couldn't do it. Maybe this is a weakness of human nature. Son Goku took a deep breath, took off the package on his body, and took out the Dragon Ball radar in his hand. Here you go. Adjutant Black immediately stepped forward and took the three Dragon Balls and the Dragon Ball radar. I have already met your conditions, release the brief couple. Son Goku looked at the Red Marshal coldly and turned away. This look clearly meant to release the brief couple. A drop of cold sweat dripped from the Red Marshal's forehead. Don't worry, I am not interested in their lives, and I will let them go soon. However, when Son Goku disappeared, the Red Marshal laughed out loud. Ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, six Dragon Balls already, getting closer to the dream. One more Dragon Ball, I can grow taller. Adjutant Black was shocked when he heard this. What are you talking about? Aren't you collecting Dragon Balls to rule the world? Red Marshal took a puff of his cigar and said, rule the world. That kind of thing can be done in a little time. Before the Red Ribbon rules the world, the ruler must be tall. Quote. Red Marshal muttered to himself. Dwarfs are not attractive to girls either. He had had enough of those women looking at him like trash. Thinking of becoming taller and being able to play with those long-legged ladies, Red Marshal's eyes were full of excitement. However, Adjutant Black was shocked. For this kind of thing, we worked hard and thousands of brothers died, and you actually. Red Marshal's expression immediately became ferocious, and he said angrily, What do you mean by this kind of thing, are you very disdainful? You are tall, how can you understand the feelings of a short people? I have been laughed at by others since I was a student. They always say, oh, the dwarf is here. The little dwarf is so short that he can reach my knees when he jumps up. He is so short, but he has a big face. It's ridiculous. Quote. Adjutant Black looked at the Red Marshal reminiscing about the past. Thinking of the thousands of brothers who died, he had a serious resistance in his heart. I collected information about the seven dragon balls for our Red Ribbon Army to conquer the world. How can you set your goal on such a stupid wish? Quote. Shut up. Red Marshal yelled hysterically. It is my freedom to realize any wish. You have no right to control, Zhao Nuo. Adjutant Black mustered up the courage and retorted, Do you know how many soldiers died for this? Hearing that Adjutant Black dared to refute him, Red Marshal was angry. Adjutant Black, you dare to be so presumptuous to the Marshal, what is your intention? In an instant, many words of scolding the soldiers flashed through Adjutant Black's mind. They died because of lack of training. You all obey the Marshal's orders. As long as you gather all the Dragon Ball, my Red Ribbon Army will conquer the world. As long as the Red Ribbon Army conquers the world, we will all become famous, get promoted, make money, and bring honor to our family. However, at this moment, Adjutant Black knew that the Red Marshal's goal was to grow taller. His mentality collapsed all of a sudden. The next moment, he took out his pistol, and without hesitation, shot the Red Marshal in the middle of his eyebrows. The Red Marshal lay straight down with an incredible look in his eyes. You are not qualified to be a Marshal. From today on, I am the well-deserved Marshal of the Red Ribbon Army. The ruler of the world will be me, Marshal Black. Ha 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 ha. Chapter 69. Do I need a reason to beat someone up? Son Goku had just left the Red Ribbon Army headquarters on his somersault cloud when he saw Bulma flying a plane with Krillin and Chi-Chi. Bulma, why are you here? Bulma, your parents have been kidnapped, haven't you gone to the west yet? Bulma smiled. Ha ha ha, the heavens are helping me. I know my parents have been kidnapped, but by chance, the Galactic Patrol was sending my sister home and ran into them. That Galactic Patrolman Jack was pretty good, he subdued them all. Bulma took out a photo. In the photo, Jack posed like a Ginyu Force idiot. The brief couple also stood on either side of Jack, brief posed with a scissors hand, and her bikini was still squinting. On the grass nearby, Colonel Violet was tied up with ropes in a very improper way. She was wearing so tight clothes and tied up with ropes, which only highlighted her figure. Her mouth was stuffed with cloth strips, and she looked humiliated. It was obvious that this method was done by some side job. It might be the work of Bulma's father. Although Colonel Violet looked like she was tied up in an improper way. But it was obvious that the crisis was resolved. Krillin looked at Goku and asked, Goku, why are you back? Where is the Dragon Ball and Revo? Son Goku. Krillin's pupils shrank. No, did you give them the radar and Dragon Ball? Son Goku nodded. I saw the photos of Bulma's parents being kidnapped, so. Krillin was surprised. Goku, you are stupid. How can you do this? We can't give them the Dragon Ball. Bulma 590 looked at Krillin and said, Goku must have given in for the safety of my family, don't talk about him. Anyway, the threat to my parents' safety has been lifted, can't we go and get it back? Yes, let's go. Chi Chi covered her mouth and laughed. Yes, let's go quickly. Otherwise, if we can't get all the Dragon Balls together, the whole family of Shinuo can't be resurrected, what a pity. Krillin's face flushed. Chi Chi, don't say anything, I don't mean to blame Goku. A moment later, several people came to the Red Ribbon Army headquarters. This place was once an indestructible fortress. Now, 
It has been destroyed by Goku and formed a ruin. The broken concrete wall and the black smoke that has not yet extinguished. Filled the red building, which looked particularly dilapidated and unbearable. Goku, did you do all this? Son Goku nodded. It's amazing. You've almost dismantled the Red Ribbon Army. I doubt you have any destructive tendencies. Just then, a figure appeared in front of everyone. You're here. Everyone looked over in the direction of the voice. The man was an adjutant, Adjutant Black. Bulma frowned. Are you the leader here? Adjutant Black nodded and said. He used to be the Red Marshal, but he wasted the lives of many brothers, so he died. In the future, I will be the leader of the Red Ribbon Army, Adjutant Black. Now, the crisis of my family has been resolved. You still want to dream of conquering the world. Adjutant Black looked at Bulma, and then at Goku. Bulma, Son Goku, Krillin, Chi-Chi, right. Several people were stunned. You know everything. Bulma was not surprised at all. It is absolutely impossible that a large group cannot be investigated by even a few of them. In fact, their identities have been dug out long ago. Bulma lit a cigarette leisurely and said with a smile, You have investigated very clearly, but your Red Ribbon Army has been almost destroyed, and you can't make a comeback. A smile appeared on Lieutenant Black's face. So, I want to discuss something with you. What? Bulma asked. Lieutenant Black took out a bag of Dragon Balls, a full six, and a radar. Here are six Dragon Balls and a Dragon Ball radar. As long as you get seven Dragon Balls, you can make any wish come true. How about this, you help me find the last Dragon Ball, and then we rule the world together. Rule the world, Lieutenant Black was interested. Yes, that's right, let the whole world act according to our will, as we please. Krillin immediately jumped out and shouted angrily. Don't dream, Dragon Ball is ours. We will use Dragon Ball to revive those you killed. Adjutant Black, but he was a very quick-witted guy, and when he heard that Krillin wanted to use Dragon Ball to revive, he immediately changed his mind. Okay, then use it to revive the civilians killed by the Red Ribbon Army. How about this? I have the ambition and brains to conquer the world, and you have strong fighting power. After resurrecting them, we will join forces again. We can conquer the world even without Dragon Ball. Bulma showed a hint of sarcasm at the corner of her mouth. With you, you also want to conquer the world, because... We will not join forces with you, you should surrender quickly and turn yourself into the police. Adjutant Black was shocked. The next moment, his face became ferocious. A asterisk hole, if that's the case, don't blame me for being rude. As he said, Adjutant Black got into a hatch. The hatch suddenly moved. A huge robot stood up from the ruins. Advertisement. Bulma asked curiously, so that's it, it's a robot, this is your last resort. Adjutant Black shouted in the robot, no matter how powerful you are, you can't do anything to this robot BDCC. This is Dr. Gallo's masterpiece. I'm going to kill you all here. The robot pointed at Son Goku in a flash. A laser suddenly shot at Son Goku. Son Goku was very fast and dodged quickly, avoiding the attack. However, the beam hit the ground and exploded instantly. A violent gust of wind was set off. Black laughed and said, what if you can dodge once? Can you dodge it a second time? Besides, you can dodge it, but what about them? As he said that, Adjutant Black controlled the robot to point at Bulma and the others. You underestimate me too much. What? Adjutant Black just reacted, but found that little Goku had already flown to the face of his robot. And smashed his glass cover with one punch. He wanted to resist, but Son Goku didn't give him any chance to resist and directly pulled him out of the robot. Bulma said curiously. Goku, I thought you would destroy this robot with your strength. I didn't expect you to pull the person out directly. It's a waste of energy to destroy the machine, it's easier to pull the person out. Son Goku replied indifferently, and then he punched Adjutant Black so hard that he couldn't resist, and then threw him in front of everyone. What should we do next, Bulma? Bulma shrugged. What else can we do? Send him to prison, and then let's find the last Dragon Ball quickly. After resurrecting the dead, don't you still have to continue to practice? Okay, Goku, Chi-Chi and Krillin agreed. Chi-Chi picked up the Dragon Ball and pressed the Dragon Ball Thunder Sky. But the radar doesn't show the last Dragon Ball at all, what's going on? Son Goku and Bulma both knew where the last Dragon Ball went. But Goku didn't know where Pilaf and his gang had gone. So he suggested. If the Dragon Ball is swallowed into the stomach of some animals, it will not be detected. Of course, it is just speculation. I suggest that we go to the fortune teller to do some divination. I can also go to see my grandfather. Chi Chi frowned. Fortune teller, you don't know who this guy is. She is obviously Master Roshi's sister, but she only cares about money and not people. She wants a lot of money. Bulma said. I think there is no need to go to the fortune teller. If I am not wrong, the Dragon Ball should be in the hands of Pilaf and his gang. Son Goku was stunned for a moment and turned to look at Bulma. How did you guess? Bulma shrugged. Apart from us, the Red Ribbon Army, I am afraid they are the only ones looking for the Dragon Ball in the world. Pilaf and his gang have never given up looking for the Dragon Ball for decades. It can be said that they are determined. Even when the Dragon Ball was over, they became children and worked at Bulma's house, and they still made wishes for the Dragon Ball every day. Son Goku scratched his head. Hey, you know what, it seems so. However, how can we find them? Bulma smiled and said. This is easy, their castle is still there, let's go to their castle to find it. 
Sun Goku's eyes fixed. Yes, he didn't turn into a gorilla, and they are not bankrupt yet. Chi Chi raised a question. Bulma, this is just your guess, what if they don't have it? Bulma touched his chin and thought for a while. They should be there. If not, it won't be too late to find the fortune teller. Why don't Goku take the somersault cloud and get out if he can? If he can't get out, beat them up and get them out. If there really isn't any, let's get together again and find the fortune teller. But, they don't seem to have done anything bad since the last time we met. Do we have to beat them up? Bulma thought for a while and said, they will do something stupid sooner or later. Beat them up first. Thinking of beating them up for no reason, Sun Goku was a little entangled. But thinking that they still needed to revive many people. So he nodded. Well, I see, I'll go first. Bulma nodded. Go ahead, we won't stay here anymore. The black smoke here is too choking. We'll wait for you near Karen Tower. $389. After that, Sun Goku took the somersault cloud and flew towards Pilaf's castle. Chapter 70 I'm not clean anymore. Pilaf's castle. Xiao Wu stared at the Dragon Ball radar and found that six Dragon Balls had gathered together, and laughed happily. As expected of King Pilaf, their Dragon Balls are all gathered together. Pilaf laughed. Of course, that red ribbon army is too scary. Let them collect them. We only need to hide one Dragon Ball and reap the benefits. At this moment, Ash shouted. No, it's bad, King Pilaf. The six Dragon Balls are coming towards us. Pilaf stood up suddenly and said in surprise, What? I said, six Dragon Balls are coming towards us. How is it possible? My special box can't even be searched by our radar. How can they find it? Xiao Wu asked. Could it be that the Red Ribbon Army's radar technology is more advanced than ours? Impossible. If it is advanced, with so many people, they would have gathered all the Dragon Balls long ago. Pilaf said firmly. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration flashed through Pilaf's mind. No, it's not the Red Ribbon Army that's coming, but Sun Goku and his group. Xiao Wu asked curiously. King Pilaf, why do you say that? The Red Ribbon Army won't bring all the Dragon Balls here. Those who can run back and forth with Dragon Balls must be Sun Goku and his group. Xiao Wu and Ash's eyes lit up. As expected of King Pilaf, you've really thought it through. Pilaf laughed and said. Although, that Sun Goku is very strong. We have nothing to fear against him. After a period of research on him, I have discovered his weakness. Although he is very strong, as long as we catch his tail, we can subdue him. Quote. Ash and Xiao Wu continued to make jokes. The king is mighty. Pilaf laughed and said, Ha ha, this time Shenron will fulfill my wish. I will rule the world, and everything in the world will act according to my will. Ash asked curiously, So, King Pilaf, what are your plans after becoming the king of the world? Well, ah, uh, first, what should I do first? Pilaf thought for a long time, but still couldn't figure out what to do. Ash waited for the answer expectantly. Pilaf was suddenly stunned. Mind your own business, go and control the robot quickly, remember our plan. Son Goku will be here soon, and I will assist you. Ash nodded immediately, yes, King Pilaf. Pilaf continued to arrange, Xiao Wu. Here, when we confront Son Goku later, you will take the opportunity to catch his tail, understand? Xiao Wu saluted immediately, yes, King Pilaf. After saying that, the two immediately went to prepare. Pilaf looked at the box of Dragon Ball and thought to himself, strange, the radar can't detect it. How do they know that the Dragon Ball is with me? A moment later, Sun Goku rode the somersault cloud to Pilaf's castle. Hello, is anyone there? Sun Goku walked to the door and knocked politely. If Pilaf and his friends wanted to steal his Dragon Ball, they would just give him a hard time. Sun Goku would have no burden in his heart to beat them back. However, they have not provoked him yet, nor have they done anything bad to harm the world. If he was asked to steal Pilaf and his friends' things directly, he felt that he could not do such a thing. After all, they are not evil people like the Red Ribbon Army. The worst thing they did was, at most, blowing a kiss to a strange girl. How bad could it be? Goku was not the kind of person who liked to bully others. He felt ashamed to let him snatch Pilaf's Dragon Ball without asking the reason, just like snatching other children's lollipops. He was wrong. Son Goku encouraged himself. Take a deep breath and relax. They are bad people. Don't be polite later. What reason should I find to ask them for the Dragon Ball? If I beat them up just for the Dragon Ball, it would be no different from a robber. Sun Goku wanted to find a reasonable reason, or he could exchange conditions with them. Otherwise, it would be contrary to his grandfather's education since he was a child. If he beat them up and snatched the Dragon Ball today, he might do it again in the future for what he wanted. There are some bottom lines that he doesn't want to break. After knocking on the door for a while, it still didn't open. Sun Goku looked at the weak iron door and clenched his fists. Or, break the door down. There are so many people waiting to be resurrected, but there is no time to play with them. He remembered what Wang Tianba taught his subordinates. The person is gone, but the personality remains. At this moment, a robot suddenly walked behind Sun Goku. Haha, you are really capable, you even know that the Dragon Ball is in our hands. Sun Goku turned around and looked. I saw that Ash, Xiao Wu and Pilaf were each driving a robot. Seeing the three funny faces, Sun Goku said directly. The last Dragon Ball is in your hands. I have a use for it. Give it to me. 
Advertisement. Pilaf said angrily. What a joke. If you want me to give it to you, I will give it to you. I am very embarrassed. Besides, I didn't provoke you. The Dragon Ball is not your personal property. Anyone is qualified to find it. Like you, I am also looking for the Dragon Ball. Sun Goku heard that what the other party said made sense and nodded. But he immediately realized that he couldn't give in. He was still waiting to save people. I really have a use for it this time. Give me the Dragon Ball. Just consider it as a favor to you. Pilaf smiled and said. Why don't you give us the six Dragon Balls in your hand and consider it as a favor to you? No, Sun Goku refused. I gathered all the Dragon Balls to revive people. I can't give them to you this time. Pilaf smiled and said. You want the Dragon Ball, and I want the Dragon Ball too. In this case, I think we should do it this way. We will drive the robot to duel with you. If you win, I will give you this Dragon Ball. If you lose, you will give me all the Dragon Balls in your hand. How about that? Sun Goku smiled when he heard that he wanted to duel. He can't win by talking, but he is not afraid of fighting. Okay, I will find you when you say that. Pilaf smiled and said, Okay, let's put it this way. Lying will be punished by thunder and lightning. Okay, Sun Goku said, and started to move. Let's start. Who will fight me? Pilaf smiled and said, Who said one person? We will fight you with three people. Sun Goku was not surprised at all. Three is three, nothing great. Pilaf smiled and said, You are quite confident. The robot designed by my genius Pilaf has never met an opponent. I tell you clearly that humans cannot compete with us. Ash, you go first. Yes, Master Pilaf. Ash rushed towards Sun Goku. The powerful mechanical fist smashed towards Sun Goku. Pilaf turned his head to look at Xiao Wu, and the communicator secretly informed. You, go to the back, pay attention to seize the opportunity. Yes, King, said, Xiao Wu passed Sun Goku's position. Jumped behind Sun Goku, and attacked Sun Goku from front and back with Ash. However, just after getting behind him, Xiao Wu saw that there was no tail behind Sun Goku. Huh, where's the tail? Just at this moment, Sun Goku moved to avoid Ash's robot attacks. Through the sunlight, she immediately saw the outline of the tail in Sun Goku's pants. Xiao Wu's mouth corner slightly raised. Good boy, did you hide your weakness in your pants before coming? Quite smart, but I'm not a fool. Master Pilaf has already made a plan. After fighting for a while, Ash controlled the robot to hold Sun Goku. Zero. Pilaf immediately started the robot to spray fire and burn towards Sun Goku's pants. Boom. Suddenly, Sun Goku felt his buttocks burning. Looking back, he saw that his pants were on fire. Sun Goku hurriedly broke free and rolled on the ground. Although the fire was extinguished, his pants were also burned. Pilaf was overjoyed when he saw this and immediately shouted, Xiao Wu, act quickly. In order to accurately grab Sun Goku's tail, Xiao Wu's robot has a pair of very small hands, close to the size of humans. At the moment of Pilaf's order, Xiao Wu controlled the mechanical hand to grab Sun Goku's tail. As if sensing the small movement behind him, Sun Goku suddenly shook off Ash's robot, turned around and caught the pair of mechanical hands that grabbed his tail. With just such a strong pull, the mechanical hands were completely broken. Sun Goku laughed. Hee hee, didn't expect it. I guess that you wanted to grab my tail before coming here, but your plan failed, so give up. Xiao Wu saw the front of Sun Goku's pants that were burned off, and the outline of the little elephant was so clear, three-dimensional, and very realistic. Xiao Wu's face suddenly turned red. She raised her hands. I, I give up. Seeing Xiao Wu's sudden shy expression, Sun Goku was startled, and he immediately remembered that his pants were gone. So, Xiao Goku immediately threw away the mechanical hands that he had broken and covered his lower body. Don't play tricks, or I won't be polite. It is almost impossible to keep Pilaf and others from being naughty. Soon they turned into combined robots, and were caught by Sun Goku and beaten up. Then they left. The machine was destroyed, and the Dragon Ball was gone. The three of them lay together in a mess. Ash. King, he said that Dragon Ball will not be used next year, otherwise we should collect Dragon Ball again next year. Pilaf. Hey, Xiao Wu blames you. How can you be so stupid? You didn't see such a good opportunity. Xiao Wu's face was still blushing, and she said embarrassedly, King Pilaf, I may not be clean. What? Don't you understand? Where is it not clean? Do you want to go home and take a shower? Ash asked. Xiao Wu sighed. My eyes are not clean. Chapter 71 Karinta Training. Under the Karen Tower. Come out. Shenron. As a brilliant light cut through the night sky, Shenron slowly appeared. His scales gleaming with golden light, like a star descending to the earth. Krillin and Chi-Chi saw Shenron for the first time and were shocked. As this Shenron, it's so spectacular. Shenron hovered in the air, making a deafening dragon roar, and then looked at Bulma and others. Hey, tell me your wishes, I can fulfill any of your wishes. Bulma took a deep breath, organized her words, and said, Shenron, can you revive all the people who died because of the Red Ribbon Army? Shenron. It's easy. Shenron's eyes flashed red. Your wish has come true. After the Dragon Ball fulfilled the wish, it burst out in seven directions. It soon lost its luster, turned into stone, and scattered all over the world. The village next to the old site of Masruda, like the, June 6th, day, was still as calm as water. However, 
Today, the village was destined to be restless, because, suddenly, countless villagers cheered. Today, they saw their family members resurrected, how could they be quiet? Especially after guarding their relatives who had been dead for many days, they were shocked to see their family members' cold bodies come back to life every day. They showed incredible expressions on their faces. Old man, you are resurrected. Are you really resurrected? The resurrected people were also confused. What's wrong with me? What happened? Their families couldn't help but rush over. Dear, you are finally resurrected, Wu. Great. Dad you are back again. Dad, you were killed, it was little Goku and the others who gathered the Dragon Ball and summoned Shenron to revive us. So that's how it is. After the silence, the village erupted in cheers and tears. The family members hugged each other tightly, tears and laughter intertwined, forming a warm and touching picture. They talked about the pain of separation and the joy of reunion, as if they wanted to pour out all their emotions. Sino reunited with her parents and grandfather, and her face showed unspeakable joy. She looked into the distance, her eyes flashing with gratitude. I knew you would succeed. Thank you. In a trance, a dragon that turned into stone ball flew over his head. Seeing the smooth stone beads, it was as if he saw Krillin's bald head. Sino was stunned for a moment, and the next moment a deeper smile appeared on his face. Thank you even more. At night, Karen Tower. I'm so tired. Why can't I see the top of the tower yet? Chi Chi wiped the sweat from his forehead. Asked. Goku, are you still climbing up with triple gravity now? Goku below nodded. Yes. Chi Chi couldn't help swallowing. You're amazing. Krillin and I couldn't climb even without adjusting the gravity. Son Goku panted a few times and said, To be honest, I can't climb anymore. Then take off the gravity bracelet. No, then my practice of climbing the tower will be meaningless. Chi Chi. When I can climb at once, I will also try to climb with multiple gravity. Krillin at the top side. Such a high tower, there is no end in sight, it's too desperate. Oh, if only I could take a nap and continue climbing. Tired and sleepy. Quote dot 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 quote. Come on, keep going. It seems we are almost there. Is this true? Damn, we are blocked by clouds. Seeing that both of them were exhausted, Sun Goku encouraged them. Keep going, whoever reaches the top of the tower first will grow 5 centimeters taller. Chi Chi. I want to grow taller, I want to grow long legs. Krillin. I want to grow taller too, I want to be tall, rich and handsome, and let many beautiful girls like me. In this way, the three encouraged each other, watched each other, and continued to climb up. Soon, a night passed. The sun had just risen at dawn. Krillin saw that something seemed to be blocking his view above. Advertisement. What is that? Hey, Goku, Chi Chi, look. Wow, that seems to be the top of the tower. Ha ha ha, great, we're at the top of the tower. Finally, it's here, it's so hard. Seeing the end, the three squeezed out the last bit of strength and finally climbed to the top of the tower. The three lay on the floor of Karen Tower, panting heavily. So tired. Karen saw the three people and showed surprise in his eyes. These three people are really not simple, they can actually climb up to Karen Tower. Bulma fell asleep on the table beside him. Hearing the words of Karen, she rubbed her eyes and raised her head. Hey, they are all here, Karen, you seem to be busy. Karen went downstairs and walked towards the three people. It's not easy for the three of you to come up together. Son Goku was so tired that he fell asleep and didn't hear it. Chi Chi and Krillin were stunned and immediately stood up and looked towards the sound. However, except for a cat, there was no sign of the immortal. Where is the immortal? I am the immortal. Krillin and Chi Chi were very surprised. You are the immortal. Why, are you not convinced? To be precise, I am a fairy cat, ha ha ha. Krillin and Chi Chi said respectfully. Excuse me, there is super holy water here that increases people's strength, right? Ah, you said super holy water, of course there is. Karen pointed to the platform and said. There is a jar on the platform over there, and there is super holy water in it. Quote. Great, we can become stronger, Chi Chi. Chi Chi turned and looked at Goku. Goku seems exhausted. Kalen Sage scratched his head when he saw Son Goku sleeping. What's wrong with him? Is his sleep quality so good? Bulma walked towards Kalen Sage and explained. He was exhausted from climbing the tower with three times the gravity. Kalen Sage's pupils shrank. What? Three times the gravity? Bulma explained. Yes, I invented that bracelet. As long as you wear it, you can adjust the weight you bear, up to ten times your own weight. This is also to make it easier for them to practice. Quote. Hearing Bulma's explanation, Karen Sage swallowed deeply. He can climb up Karen Tower with three times the gravity of his own body. This guy basically doesn't need to train himself. So, he walked towards the sleeping Son Goku. It's my first time to see a sage, and you fell asleep. How rude. Get down. While speaking, Karen Sage kicked Son Goku directly off Karen Tower. Oops. 5.3. What happened? Son Goku woke up and found himself falling. Looking up, he could vaguely see the figure of Karen Sage. Son Goku was a little speechless. Is this a reward for me to climb again? I'm so hungry. Suddenly, Son Goku remembered something. He touched his bag, took out a senzu bean, and stuffed it into his mouth. All of a sudden, he regained his strength. However, he did not continue to climb up, but climbed down the tower to the ground. Repaired a little, and then climbed up again. 
With the experience of climbing a tower, Sun Goku was obviously not struggling that much anymore. This effect was quite significant. Halfway up, Sun Goku hesitated and pressed the bracelet. Instantly, the gravity soared to four times. Quote dot 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 quote. It's just double the gravity, why is it so heavy? Chapter 72 Three years later, terribly strong. On the Karen Tower. Karen asked Krillin and Chi-Chi. Why do you want to become stronger? Aren't you already very strong now? Krillin. I want to surpass Goku. Chi-Chi. I can only be with him if I can keep up with Goku. Karen. Forget it, since you have no bad intentions, I'll give it to you. However, if you want to drink the super holy water, you must take the bottle of water from me. Quote. Krillin and Chi-Chi looked at each other. Is there such a rule? Yes, do you want to drink? Of course. Then you two come and grab it together. So, Krillin and Chi-Chi immediately stepped forward to grab it. They thought it was easy, but as soon as they started to grab it, they found that it was not the case. Kalen the Immortal was much faster than them, and his Kung Fu was much higher than them. It is really not easy to get the super holy water. The two tried their best, but still couldn't grab the bottle. However, as the day of grabbing the bottle passed, both of them noticed progress. Unlike when they first came up, they were out of breath after a few moves due to lack of oxygen. Their movements were much faster than at the beginning. This is the result of training. The two seemed to understand. Perhaps, the super holy water is fake. What really makes them stronger is the process of grabbing the bottle. Krillin thought of Sun Goku climbing the tower with weights, and a trace of unwillingness flashed through his mind. He didn't want his strength to never surpass Goku. So, he pressed the bracelet and adjusted his bracelet to three times gravity. And Chi-Chi had wanted to do this for a long time. With a master helping her practice, it was not her character to rush for success. So, she also turned on the three times weight and started to snatch the bottle. Without the weight, she couldn't snatch it from Karen Sage, and with the weight, the difficulty was doubled. But the improvement for each of them was undoubtedly huge. When they can adapt to this gravity, their strength will be greatly improved. The next day, Sun Goku climbed the tower again. 13. Also joined the battle to snatch the bottle. Karen Sage saw the gravity bracelet on Sun Goku's hand and called Krillin and Chi-Chi to stop. Master Roshi accepted you three disciples, he really picked up a treasure. The three were stunned. How do you know that our master is Master Roshi? Simple. Just look at your actions. 300 years ago, he climbed the Karen Tower. Krillin nodded. We all heard that it took the teacher three years to drink the super holy water. Quote. Kalen looked at the three of them and said, it seems that you three want to practice with me for three years. Quote. The three looked at each other and smiled awkwardly. At first, the three did not have this idea. However, after Krillin and Chi-Chi had been snatching bottles for a day, they made up their minds. The combination of gravity bracelet assistance and Karen Sage assistance training is simply amazing. The three of them started the bottle snatching battle. Whenever they adapted to the current gravity, and were about to grab the bottle, the three of them would increase the multiple. Increase step by step, for example, increase to 3.1 times, 3.2 times. In this way, they would not be unable to adapt all of a sudden and break the rhythm. Sun Goku was also a little surprised. The multiple of this bracelet seemed to be carefully designed by Bulma, and it was extremely useful. It can be fine-tuned by 0.1 times, and such adjustments will not interrupt the rhythm of practice at all. It is much better than directly adjusting the integer multiple. Bulma watched the three people enter the state, and she no longer lived in Karen Tower all year round. She returned to live in the West Capital and continued her research. Come to Karen Tower every now and then to take a look Goku, send some food to reduce the consumption of some senzu beans, and then go back to her business. Spring goes and autumn comes, cold comes and heat goes. Three years have passed in the blink of an eye. In three years, Sun Goku has adapted to ten times the gravity, and the improvement is unimaginable even for Sun Goku himself. Even Krillin and Chi-Chi have adapted to at least eight times the gravity. Because they practiced in the snatch of Karen Immortal, this is different from weight training, climbing mountains, and climbing towers. This is snatching things from people, and even mixed with fighting and defense. While enhancing their own strength and speed, their reaction ability has also been greatly improved. The strength of the three is no longer what it used to be. Bulma was very pleased to see the results of the three people's training. It's just that she doesn't have the technology to make a detector to take a closer look. According to her speculation, whether it is Goku, Chi-Chi, or Krillin, their strength has at least reached more than ten times the same period in the previous life. Especially Chi-Chi, in the previous life, he might only know some basic martial arts, but in this life, he has reached at least a hundred times the strength of the previous life. Seeing how strong the three of them are, Bulma is extremely satisfied. Her efforts have achieved remarkable results. It really fits the saying that vision limits growth. Bulma can see the height of the future, so she knows that their room for improvement is still very high and there is no end in sight. Not to mention Goku, just based on Krillin's combat power, even if Raditz comes, he can be killed directly. Goku doesn't have to die with him. However, if Goku doesn't die once, how can Yukong learn Kaioken and Spirit Bomb? This problem bothered Bulma again. Or, let him skip those two key skills and leap to Super Saiyan in one step. Would it be too big a step? Bulma thought about the conditions under which the Super Saiyan in the previous life became. When Krillin died, Goku became a Super Saiyan. 
When Goku died, Gohan learned to transform. When Gohan died, Trunks learned to transform. Only Vegeta didn't have a sacrifice. Because he was mad at Goku. Angry that he couldn't transform into a Super Saiyan. So he turned into a Super Saiyan in anger. However, Vegeta's transformation was too laborious. Also, he had a bad personality. He was so crazy right after he successfully transformed. After transforming into a Super Saiyan, he went straight to attack the androids, and no one could stop him. As a result, he was killed by the androids in just one battle. He died cleanly and neatly. Super Saiyans need nothing more than extreme anger. So, the best way to transform seems to be to stimulate someone's ascension to heaven to increase the success rate. Anyway, there is a Dragon Ball, and he can be resurrected. Da, will Krillin in this life be killed so miserably by Frieza? If Krillin dies, can Goku still transform? Thinking of Krillin's death, which created the first Super Saiyan. Bulma suddenly thought of something. Goku is not an emotional idiot. He just can't express it. In the previous life, the friendship between Krillin and him was incomparable to anyone else. Bulma thought of herself again. In this life, she and Goku got closer. Advertisement. But because Goku was too young, they couldn't go any further. But in terms of the closeness of the two, it should be far less than the friendship with Krillin. Bulma thought that if Krillin died in front of Goku, it would definitely stimulate him to transform. Then, if I died in front of Goku, it should make him transform even more, right? Maybe only in this way can I completely understand that. I really walked into his heart. Bulma shook her head of wild thoughts. Forget it, there is still a long way to go, let's take it one step at a time. In this life, Goku's growth has far exceeded that of the same period due to his own efforts. Even Krillin and Chi-Chi are a bit outrageous. But this level of combat power is nothing on Namek. In front of the androids, they are still cannon fodder. There is still a long way to go. But, so what? Goku hasn't grown up yet, but he is already much stronger than he was in the same period of his previous life. Many events are destined not to be tragedies. Goku's growth has never stopped. When Goku grows up, who knows what level he can grow to. Maybe, no one will have to die when we go to Namek. Soon, it was getting dark. A day of training ended, and it was time to rest. As soon as the three of them stopped training, they lay down on the ground to rest in tacit understanding. This lying down immediately made a huge difference from before. Chi-Chi is already a big girl, and her figure is not like before, she has become much taller. But Krillin and Goku are still small, just a little taller. Chi-Chi wiped the sweat from her forehead while lying down. Huh, I'm so tired. She looked at Krillin and Goku with some concern. Said, Goku, Krillin, we have been training here for three years. I am a head taller than before. But why haven't you two grown much? Could it be that too much gravity affects your growth? Son Goku looked absent-minded and said casually, I don't know. Krillin looked at Chi-Chi's height, and then looked at his short stature. He couldn't help but worry. Damn, will the high weight affect my growth? What should I do? Just then, Bulma came to Karen Tower. Shadow can't grow taller. Bulma. Chi-Chi, Krillin and Goku all looked at Bulma. Bulma said. Girls develop earlier than boys, both mentally and physically. In two years, you two will grow taller. Krillin was slightly relieved when he saw Bulma say this. It seems that's what everyone says. But I'm still a little worried. Krillin turned his head and looked at Goku, who was as tall as him, and continued, but seeing that Goku is the same height as me, I feel relieved. Bulma saw Krillin and showed a hint of helplessness at the corner of her mouth. Son Goku is a Saiyan, which is different from the Earthlings. Before they become adults, Saiyans look like children and are not tall. However, once they reach a certain age, they can grow very high within a year until they reach a fixed height, as if they have grown up all of a sudden. Bulma really hopes that Goku will grow up quickly. Unfortunately, Goku is still not that age. That's why Chi-Chi is a head taller than Goku at the same age. As for Krillin, he is the same height as Goku now, which is purely a genetic problem. He will grow taller in the future, but not much, and he can't catch up with the future Goku. Unless, he collects Dragon Balls in the future and makes a wish to Shenron to grow taller. However, Bulma is very sure that this has nothing to do with weight training. Bulma quickly changed the subject and asked. Goku, Krillin, Chi-Chi, the world's number one martial arts tournament will be held in a few days. Do you still want to continue to practice here, or go down? Hearing that Bulma was finally going to take the three away, Karen said immediately, It's all right, the three of you hurry up and go. You three guys, even I am far from your opponent without the bracelets. Future training will not make you progress as fast as before. Practicing in the same reciprocating cycle will only make your strength stagnate. You must have the courage to break the comfort zone and challenge new practice. This is the key to continuous progress. The three 247 smiled at each other and announced the end of Karen Tower's practice. Krillin was the first to say, Goku, Chi-Chi, are we going to participate in the world's number one martial arts tournament? Chi-Chi, yes, of course we are going, let's all go down. Isn't there still a few days before the martial arts tournament? I want to go home to see my father first, and then go to the martial arts tournament. Son Goku also nodded and said, then I will go to see Master Wu Tien, then go back to Baozi Mountain, and then go straight to the martial arts tournament. Krillin, do you want to come with me? Krillin shook his head, his face flushed a little, and turned to look at Bulma. 
Bulma, lend me your plane, and I will return it to you after I buy a plane. When he heard Krillin borrow the plane, Chi Chi looked at Krillin and asked, Krillin, are you going to meet your girlfriend and then go to the martial arts tournament? Bulma smiled and said, of course, you're right. We've finally finished our training, so you must be going to see Shao Si Nuo. By the way, Krillin, have you held hands? Krillin's mouth twitched, Bulma, stop it. I only went there for two days during the Chinese New Year. We're not familiar with each other yet, and we're just ordinary friends. Just ordinary friends. Bulma, Chi Chi, stop teasing me. Chi Chi and Bulma saw Krillin's shy face and laughed. Seeing Krillin's shy but happy face, Goku was really happy for him. It's good that his good brother has found a home so early. However, Goku thought of a problem. If Krillin finds that Snow is his girlfriend, what will happen to number 18 in the future? She is beautiful, has a good figure, and is strong. The key is that she is still a good wife and mother who doesn't talk much after marriage. She is worthy of being the first goddess of Dragon Ball. Even Goku at this moment doesn't want her to be cheap in the future. He even has such an idea, it would be great if he could marry her as his wife. Bulma and Chi Chi have poured so much love into him over the years. If he doesn't marry them, he can't justify it. However, if he likes other women in the future, they may awaken their violent blood and beat him to death directly. Goku prayed silently, hoping that number 18 is not a bad person anyway. Seeing the silly smile on Goku's face, Bulma became interested. She approached Goku and pinched his cheeks lovingly. Goku, what are you thinking about? You are drooling. Son Goku was startled and wiped his mouth quickly. No, right, Bulma covered her mouth and laughed. Okay, I'm just teasing you. I brought food, let's eat. After we finish eating, let's go. Okay, 73 lifelong event. The next day, came house. Yamcha asked. Master Mutant, do you think my current strength has surpassed little Goku? Master Roshi touched his bald head and said uncertainly, it's hard to say whether I have surpassed Goku or not. Goku was so strong three years ago, I guess he should be even stronger three years later. Yamcha touched his chin and said, that's true, but people should have bottlenecks, right? Who knows? Just at this moment, a golden light flew to Kame House. Grandpa came, I'm back to see you. Quote, seeing son Goku coming, Master Roshi was obviously stunned. It's Goku, you've grown a lot taller. Son Goku smiled and touched his hair, then compared it and said, I'm not as tall as Grandpa Turtle, it seems that I haven't grown much. Master Roshi laughed and continued to ask, Where have you been for the past three years, I haven't seen you for a long time. Son Goku said, I went to climb the Karen Tower with Krillin and Chi Chi. Now we are all down and ready to participate in the world number. One martial arts tournament. Master Roshi was stunned. Climb the Karen Tower. Yes, yes, have you grabbed the super holy water? Yes, the super holy water is a lie. It's mainly to improve strength through training with Karen Immortal. Hearing this, Master Roshi understood that Goku had reached the standard. He continued to ask, have Chi Chi and Krillin also drunk the super holy water? Son Goku nodded. Yes, the three of us have been up there for three years to grab that bottle. Quote. Master Roshi laughed. Three years, ha 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 ha, just like fighting with me. However, you are all younger than I was at that time. You can graduate from Karen Tower, so your strength is better than mine, after all, you are young and strong. By the way, why didn't Chi Chi and Krillin come? Goku said. Krillin has a girlfriend who lives far away. He went to the north and will go directly to the martial arts meeting in two days. Chi Chi hasn't reunited with her father for a long time, so she went home to see her father. Master Roshi nodded. Is that so? Seeing little Goku, Yamcha took the initiative to greet him. Goku, hello, now we are brothers. Son Goku saw Yamcha in a martial arts uniform and was surprised. Oh, it's Yamcha, have you been practicing here for a long time? Yamcha, of course, I have been practicing here with Master Mutant for three years. Oh. That's great, Son Goku looked around and asked, Grandpa Turtle, where is Lan Chi? She left after you left, and took away the treasures you gave me. I haven't seen Lan Chi for three years. Goku, bring another girl to Grandpa Turtle when you have time, and make sure she's normal. Son Goku was stunned for a moment and ignored the following sentence. Haven't seen you for three years. Yes, was he caught for robbery? Master Roshi, you have a rich imagination. By the way, Goku, the martial arts competition will be held soon, will you still participate? Son Goku nodded. Of course I will go, I will definitely win the championship this time. Hearing that Goku was going to participate in the martial arts competition, Master Roshi's heart skipped a beat. He probably can't beat Goku now, and it seems that the idea of earning some money to supplement the family income is about to be shattered. So, Master Roshi continued. Goku, I don't have Lanchi to cook for me here. You have such a big appetite, so I won't let you stay for dinner. Hearing that Master Roshi was starting to drive people away, Son Goku couldn't help but twitch his mouth. Then Grandpa Turtle, I'll go home and see if I can kill a dinosaur to satisfy my craving. Go. After that, Son Goku rode the somersault cloud to Bowsy Mountain. Dot 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 dot. I originally thought that since I hadn't been home for a long time and no one was taking care of my family. The mountain would probably be overgrown with weeds, and the houses would be dilapidated or even collapsed. However, standing on the somersault cloud and looking down at Bowsy Mountain from a high place. 
Sun Goku suddenly found that the farmland on Baozi Mountain was actually well organized. The house that Grandpa and I built seemed to have been renovated and looked much better than before. At the door of the house, there was also a field of vegetables planted. There were eggplants, beans, tomatoes, cucumbers, green peppers, etc. At the door of the house, there were also two strings of bacon hanging. Sun Goku had a strange idea in his mind. Could it be that his house was occupied by someone else? With curiosity, Sun Goku landed in front of his house. As soon as he entered the door, the floor tiles in the house were dazzlingly bright. The decoration was much better than before. In addition, the dazzling array of furniture and appliances in the house had long been replaced with the latest models. Clean and tidy, spotless. In addition, Sun Goku smelled the aroma of cooking. He couldn't help but be curious and walked quietly to the kitchen. As soon as he arrived at the kitchen door, Goku saw a familiar back. Her long blue hair hung over her waist, her figure was slim and well-proportioned. The clothes were simple and plain, but not without taste, showing her inner gentleness and kindness. Sun Goku couldn't help but exclaimed. Lan Chi. Lan Chi turned her head and looked at Goku. Hey, it's Goku. How did you find me? Sun Goku didn't answer directly, and then asked curiously. Lan Chi, I heard from Master Wu Tian that you have been gone for three years, why are you in my house? Lan Chi thought for a while and said, I don't know how I got here. It seems that I robbed a bank, I was chased by the police, and fled here. After coming here, I found that there were many fields on this mountain. And there were houses to live in, so I lived in Jiching. However, until I lived there for a while, I didn't see the owner come. It happened that there were always policemen at the foot of the mountain to catch me. So I treated it as my own home and settled down. Now we all use harvesters to farm. I usually farm. When I want to eat meat, I hunt some game. Life is not bad. I didn't expect that this is your home. Sun Goku nodded. Okay, I get it. If you like my home, stay here. I feel that I will go out to practice in the future, so I won't live at home for a long time. Lan Chi smiled and said, that's great. It's just right that you are back. I will cook two more dishes. Wait for a while, let's eat together later. Advertisement. Well, I miss Lan Chi's cooking skills too. Lan Chi smiled gently and said, okay, go out quickly. The kitchen is full of fumes. Well, after a while, Lan Chi cooked a table of ten dishes and rice. Sun Goku began to feast on them. Lan Chi looked at Goku who was eating very hard, and a gentle smile appeared on her face. Goku, are you and Bulma together all the time? Yeah, almost. She always brings us food. We, who are you with? Lan Chi couldn't help but ask curiously. Chi Chi, Krillin, and I went to Karen Tower to practice. Bulma often brought us food. Lan Chi nodded and suddenly realized. Oh, so you are still practicing so hard. The martial arts competition will be held in a few days. Are you still going to participate in the martial arts competition? Of course, I practice so hard, I have to get the first place once before I am qualified to say that I don't want to participate. Lan Chi smiled. That's right, then I will go to the martial arts competition with you in a few days. Sun Goku nodded. Okay, I wanted to go home to see. And then go to Exidu to find Bulma to eat and drink. If Lan Chi is here, I won't be polite. Quote. Lan Chi smiled. This is your home, why are you polite? It's okay, just treat it as your home and treat me as a guest. Quote. Lan Chi covered her mouth and smiled. Goku, I haven't seen you for three years. You talk more than before. And I feel that you have grown a little taller, and you are thinner than before. I guess you may be growing taller, but you can't be hungry, otherwise it will affect your growth. I will serve you some food. Well, thank you Lan Chi, Lan Chi's cooking is really delicious. Lan Chi looked at the little Goku who was eating, and a trace of disappointment appeared on her face. She couldn't help but mutter to herself. Goku, you have to eat more and grow up quickly. If you don't grow up, I will be old. The village next to the Masruta ruins is not the penguin village. Si Nuo listened to Krillin talking, and her face showed a look of longing. The world's number one martial arts competition, the martial artists on the field are all very powerful, right? Klin nodded. Yes, they are all excellent martial artists from all over the world. Gathering in a martial arts competition, of course they are very powerful. Also, there are many people watching the martial arts competition. Klin tentatively asked. Sino, why don't you go to the martial arts competition with me? Sino was stunned for a moment. I, can I, you won't think I'm troublesome, right? Klin shook his head hurriedly. How is it possible? Absolutely not. Well, I want to go too. Let's have dinner later and discuss it with my parents. Just at this time, Sino's mother came over. She advised. Sino, Klin invited you, so you should go with him. You are not a child anymore, the outside world is very exciting, and you should go and see it. When Sino heard that her mother agreed, she immediately showed a look of surprise on her face. Mom also agrees that I can go out, that's great. Then, does dad agree? Sino's father also came over. Looked at Sino, and then looked at Keelan and sat down next to Keelan. He said earnestly, Keelan, our family conditions are average, and Sino is just an ordinary person. Unlike you, who are so powerful in martial arts at a young age, and can travel around the world freely. If you like Sino, then we also support you two to be together. Amazing, she won't have to do farm work like us in the future. 
Sinyu can marry you, which is also considered a high-class marriage for my family. But even so, you can't let her down. Otherwise, I won't forgive you. Klin was blushing and his heart was beating fast. But after hearing so much from Sino's father, and handing Sino to him, a sense of responsibility arose spontaneously. Klin stood up suddenly and bowed to see Nuo's father. Dad, don't worry, I will treat Si Nuo well for the rest of my life. Snuo's face turned red when she heard her father give herself to Klin like this. Oh, Dad, don't say it. Klin was a little unsure, is Si Nuo unwilling? Seeing Klin standing there stupidly, Snuo immediately pulled Klin's hand and whispered, Klin, if you win the championship, I will marry you, okay. Feeling Si Nuo's warm palm, Klin was suddenly startled, as if his whole body was hit by an electric current. Really, really, Snuo's face became even redder. My dad has sold me to you, is it true or not? Okay, okay, eat, wash your hands and eat. Klin is not stupid, but very smart, and he completely understood her words at once. Asterisk J. As for the championship, Klin also has a certain understanding of his current strength. Apart from Goku and Chi Chi, there should be no rivals in the world. If you want to be the first, it's basically a matter of one sentence. Chapter 74 A Couple Destined by Heaven Ox King's Home Why did Chi Chi come back by himself? Where's Goku? Ox King asked curiously. He went to see Master Mutin. I didn't go with him. Is that so? You really should go with him. After all, you will be a family in the future. Chi Chi said coquettishly. I miss my dad. Besides, Goku doesn't want me to go to Kame Sensei's house. He said that Grandpa Kame likes mature and plump women. I'm grown up now, and he's worried that I'll be taken advantage of by Master Mutin. Ox King frowned. How could Master Mutin be that kind of person? Chi Chi sighed. You don't know that Master Mutin has a lot of unhealthy books there. Is it true? Ox King still didn't believe it. Really, Master Mutin has a set of perverse theories. He said that looking at beautiful women can make him happy, and being happy can make him live longer. He also said that if he hadn't lived long, the immortal stream would have been wiped out long ago. Quote. Ox King thought for a moment. That makes sense. The master is over 300 years old. A normal person would have died long ago. If he hadn't lived long, the Kame Sen Ryu would have been wiped out, and you wouldn't have been able to learn advanced martial arts. Chi Chi rolled his eyes at Ox King. Dad, you're just overthinking. Why? Chi Chi said while eating. The big turtle in Kame Sen Ya told us that. Master Roshi could live so long because he drank the immortal water. As for looking at beautiful women for longevity, it's just his bad habit. Ox King. Ah, this. Dad, stop talking. Hurry up and eat, it won't taste good if you're too far away. Well, okay. Quote. Ox King had just eaten some food and suddenly asked. By the way, you are so old now. When are you going to get married with Goku? Chi Chi was a little distressed. Wait a little longer. Bulma said, at least Goku has to grow up. Ox King was stunned for a moment, thinking of the little Goku he had seen a few years ago. He was the same age as Chi-Chi at that time, which was indeed nothing. But compared with himself, the size difference was several times. The bull demon then said, Chi-Chi, not every man is as tall as dad. Chi-Chi shook her head and said, No, Bulma said that boys develop two years later than girls. In another two years, Goku will grow taller. She told me very confidently. Ox King nodded. Yes, boys and girls in adolescence are indeed like this. It seems that Chi-Chi also likes tall and handsome boys. 280. Chi-Chi retorted. Whether Goku grows taller or not, I like him. Quote. A strange picture flashed through Ox King's mind. The short son Goku married the grown-up Chi-Chi. The picture of the big and the small was very strange. Ox King quickly dispelled this picture and put a bite of food into Chi-Chi's bowl. Chi-Chi, eat more vegetables. In a blink of an eye, a few days passed. It was the day of the world's number one martial arts tournament. Goku and Chi-Chi arrived on time and signed up. Master Roshi also brought Yamcha, and Yamcha also signed up. They were all from the Kame Sen Ryu, so they naturally gathered together. Master Roshi seemed to have dressed up as Jackie Chan to sign up, and there were only a few disciples here. Son Goku asked curiously, Is Krillin not here yet? It seems he will be late. Quote. Bulma looked around and said, I didn't see him. I guess he went to see his girlfriend and came here reluctantly. Quote. Isn't that right? Son Goku said. Puror looked at Goku, who was still small, and then looked at Yamcha, who was tall and handsome. A simple comparison gave him a sense of superiority. He said to Yamcha, Master, come on, after three years of training, you will definitely win. Chi Chi smiled and said, The championship will not fall into your hands. Don't forget, there are still our older generation of disciples. Don't meet me too early when the competition starts. Otherwise, I will let you see the results of my three years of training. Puer saw the tall Chi Chi and felt a little alert. He didn't expect that Chi Chi grew so tall in three years, and was completely different from the cute little girl at the beginning. For the young master, she is indeed a severe opponent. In terms of strength, he thinks Yamcha is not inferior to Chi-Chi. But after all, Yamcha still has a slight fear of women, which is his only weakness. Bulma looked at his watch and was a little anxious. It's going to start in three minutes, why hasn't Krillin come yet? Yamcha smiled and said, Krillin, 
He can't win the championship anyway, so it doesn't matter if he's missing. At this moment, Krillin's voice came over. Bulma, Chi-Chi, Goku, I'm here. Following the voice, a bald head suddenly appeared, which was particularly eye-catching. Krillin pulled a little red-haired girl and ran towards the crowd in a hurry. Son Goku shouted, Krillin, you're finally here, hurry up, be Deb, and sign up, there are less than three minutes left. Krillin pulled Snow to the front of the crowd, and then said, well, I'll sign up first, and we'll talk later. As he said that, Krillin hurriedly ran towards the registration office. Snow saw Bulma, Chi-Chi and Goku smiling and nodding at them. You're all doing well, seeing the little lowly Snow, Bulma also smiled slightly. Hello, Mrs. Krillin, Nuo. Snow's face turned red, and she turned to look at Chi-Chi. Hey, are you Chi-Chi? Chi-Chi nodded. Yes, have I changed a lot? Snow nodded. Yeah, you've grown a lot taller. Chi-Chi covered her mouth and smiled. Hee hee, they all say that to me. But if I'm taller, I can buy beautiful clothes like Bulma. Then, Snow looked at Sun Goku again. Goku doesn't seem to have changed much, he's about the same as Krillin. Advertisement. Sun Goku nodded and responded. Yes, I haven't grown much. But you and we are similar, we haven't grown much. If you want to grow taller later, you can borrow the radar from Bulma. Collect Dragon Balls and wish to grow taller, don't worry. Snow smiled awkwardly, you spend so much effort to collect Dragon Balls just to grow taller. That wish is a bit too extravagant. Quote. Whether it is the leader of the Red Ribbon Army or the Emperor of Universe Frieza, they all have this wish that seems small but actually troubles them for a lifetime. Sun Goku shook his head. In fact, that wish is not extravagant at all. Height is also something that many big people dream of changing. Really? Yes. Sun Goku said affirmatively. Just at this time, Master Roshi came back. Oh, I'm old and a little constipated. Hey, so many people, you are all here. Master Roshi's eyes couldn't help but fall on Bulma and Chi-Chi. Bulma didn't change at all, but Chi-Chi changed a lot. Master Roshi looked a little familiar, but he couldn't remember who she was. Master Roshi looked up at Chi-Chi and asked. This beautiful lady, may I ask who you are? Chi-Chi coughed lightly. Teacher Mutant, I'm Chi-Chi. Master Roshi was startled. What? How did you grow so big? Chi-Chi was about to say something when he suddenly felt a murderous aura. So he looked forward. Three people in green clothes walked towards them. Hey, who is it? Isn't this Master Roshi? Master Roshi was stunned. Hey, it's Crane Immortal, you're still alive. Crane Immortal laughed. You're still the same, ugly and sarcastic. I heard that your disciples were quite active in the last world number. One martial arts conference. This time, I want to let everyone see what real martial arts are, so I brought my two disciples to participate. Hee <laughs> hee, the champion must be my disciples. In order to save face, you should go home as soon as possible. Master Roshi laughed. Ha 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 ha, what are you kidding, you are still so ignorant. What are you talking about, you dead bald head. Shut up, you old hair. Bald head, miscellaneous hair. The two old men started to fight each other when they met. After a moment, Crane Immortal snorted. HMPH, Tian Shinhan, Jiaozi, let's go, don't play tricks with him. With that, Crane Immortal led Tian Shinhan and Jiaozi away. Before leaving, Tian Shinhan glanced at Master Roshi's disciples. He raised his eyebrows arrogantly. See you on the ring, don't admit defeat. Bulma curled her lips and said disdainfully, this is how Crane Hermit teaches his disciples. There are only two disciples, and they are not taught by him at all. Master Roshi nodded. That's right, Crane Hermit is not as good as me. Sun Goku looked at Yamcha and kindly advised, Yamcha, why don't you not participate in the competition? Yamcha was stunned. Why, I'm afraid you will lose to that Tian Shinhan and embarrass our Kame Sen Ryu. Yamcha said angrily, what a joke, how could I lose to that guy? Sun Goku looked at Pu'er and continued, if you are injured, it's okay to have Pu'er take care of you. Yamcha remembered the time when he was beaten by Sun Goku again. He was taken care of by Pu'er and lay for a month. Damn it, I won't get hurt. Chi-Chi sighed. We are all from the same school, so don't make a fool of yourself. Soon, the world's first martial arts tournament began to call for players to enter. The selection competition was held in the venue, and only the top eight would show their skills in front of the world. After rounds of selection, eight members of the official competition were finally selected. Tian Shinhan and Jiaozi were naturally selected. They came to the crowd with the task of Crane Immortal. Tian Shinhan sneered. You stupid turtle team can still stay until now, it seems that all the people in the preliminaries are incompetent. Yamcha took the lead. You can stay until now, all thanks to good luck. Tian Shinhan said arrogantly. I will beat the shit out of you came immortals in front of the world. Hearing Tian Shinhan's words, Chi Chi and Krillin were so angry that they clenched their fists. It seems that they were angry with Tian Shinhan's two words. What did you say? You are so arrogant. Seeing that Krillin and Chi Chi were about to fight Tian Shinhan, Sun Goku immediately tried to stop them. Krillin, Chi Chi, our strength is no longer on the same level as theirs. If you two fight them, you must not use too much force. Otherwise you will be eliminated even if you kill someone. Tian Shinhan originally thought that little Goku was here to stop the fight. But this sentence actually had the power to add fuel to the fire. Tian Shinhan angrily said, Damn it, kid, what did you say? 
You said you could beat us to death, are you guys from the Kane Sensei school so good at bragging? Just at this moment, the referee's whistle interrupted the tension among several people. Hey, all contestants, please come and gather. Now let's start drawing lots. The drawing of lots will determine the order of the contestants. Those whose names are called, please come and draw lots. Several people stopped arguing, and the little guy walked to the referee and began to draw lots honestly. At this moment, Tian Shinhan noticed that the atmosphere of the werewolf players around him was not right. He looked at Jackie Chan with hatred in his eyes. Tian Shinhan asked curiously, What's wrong with you? That's Jackie Chan, the champion of the last world number. One martial arts tournament. Do you have a grudge against him? Rookie. Why don't you mind your own business? Tian Shinhan's mouth twisted. Interesting, Jiaozi, let this guy fight against that old man. Jiaozi. Yeah, the tallest one, called Yangsha, should be the strongest among Master Roshi's disciples. Arrange me and him in a match. Jiaozi nodded again. Yeah. Then, Jiaozi saw that Krillin was about the same as him, and they were both bald, so he arranged himself to fight him. Soon, the quarterfinals were arranged. Jackie Chan vs. Rookie. Yangsha vs. Tian Shinhan. Krillin vs. Jiaozi. Chi Chi vs. Sun Goku. Sun Goku basically knew the result before the draw. Jiaozi has superpowers, and it's easy for him to control the number of matches. However, that doesn't matter, it's just a matter of leaving early or late. This martial arts tournament is not the focus either. If nothing unexpected happens, Piccolo Daimao should come out. The purpose of coming here this time is actually to catch Danbalan and find old Piccolo. Although now the strength of myself, Chi Chi and Krillin has surpassed old Piccolo. Krillin will not be killed. However, old Piccolo cannot be killed directly. It is a higher priority than killing Piccolo Daimao. In order to keep the Dragon Ball, the matter of killing old Piccolo must be put after letting him lay eggs. Chi Chi was surprised to see that this martial arts tournament was still between himself and Goku. Goku, we are really destined to fight again. Sun Goku scratched his head. There are eight places in total, and we have almost occupied them. It is normal to meet our own people. Chi Chi nodded. That's what I said, but I still feel that we are destined to fight. Krillin was deeply relieved when he saw the battle with Jiaozi. Goku, I'm so happy that I can fight that dwarf instead of you. Sun Goku said again. Krillin, don't use too much force. The three of us have been training with weights for so long. Now I have too much strength and sometimes I can't control it well. It feels too easy to kill people. Krillin nodded, patted Son Goku on the shoulder, and said, of course I know that. But remember to let me win in the finals. The lifelong happiness of my brother is all up to you. Son Goku sighed, hey, why would your girlfriend make such a request? It's so strange. It seems that I won't be able to win the championship again this time, as if this thing is destined by heaven. Chi Chi chuckled. Yes, many things are actually destined by heaven. Just like us being together, we are a couple destined by heaven. Goku looked at Chi Chi seriously. Seeing the graceful Chi Chi now, Goku felt that his single time might not be much. Goku said seriously, Chi Chi, please, don't become fierce in the future. You just stay so gentle and considerate forever, okay? Hearing Goku's words, Chi Chi was a little shy, covered her cheeks and said, Goku, this is the first time you say I am gentle and considerate, I am so happy. I promise you. Chapter 75 New Heights of Martial Arts Tournament. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I declare that the 22nd Tenkaichi Martial Arts Tournament begins. We have selected eight contestants from 182 martial artists to participate in the finals. These eight contestants will compete in an elimination format. Who is the best in the world? Who will get the 500,000 yuan prize? Let's wait and see. Now, the first match, Tian Shinhan vs Yangsha, begins. This Yangsha contestant is the disciple of the martial arts god Master Roshi. By the way, among the top eight contestants in this martial arts tournament, four are disciples of Master Roshi. And Tian Shinhan and Jiaozi are disciples of Crane Immortal. Hearing the host's introduction, everyone in the audience was shocked. Oh my god, it's incredible, almost all of them are Master Roshi's disciples and Crane Immortal's disciples. However, it seems that Master Roshi's disciples account for half of the country, and Master Roshi is still stronger. Quote. Hearing this, Crane Hermit snorted coldly. I will beat up Master Roshi's disciples later, and you will see what will happen to you. Master Roshi who was dressed as Jackie Chan, was also very angry. You compare me with trash like Crane Hermit, damn it. Soon, Yangsha and Tian Shinhan also came on stage with a sense of tension. The two cursed each other, and the fight was really filthy. As the host announced the start, the two quickly started a fierce duel. The two were as fast as lightning, fast and fierce, and their moves were so exciting. This was just the first game. The two fought so hard that their afterimages flickered. The audience was stunned. For a while, the audience was silent. It took a while for warm applause and cheers to break out. It's amazing, as expected of a famous teacher. It's so amazing, so exciting. Seeing such a wonderful competition, the host was also excited. It's really surprising. In just a short moment, countless wonderful offensive and defensive battles took place. This battle may be the most exciting one in this tournament. Tian Shinhan and Yangsha fought for several rounds and pulled away from each other. Yangsha muttered in his heart. This guy is much better than I expected. 
Although Tian Shinhan mocked him on the surface, he also gave Yangsha a high evaluation in his heart. This kid is not simple, not a guy who can only brag. I haven't met such an opponent for a long time. After the first wave of probing, Yangsha was ready to show his own unique skills. The next moment, he put his hands in a wolf fang posture. New wolf fang wind fist. Tian Shinhan said nothing and also put his hands in the starting posture and rushed towards Yangsha. The two of them were still not weak at all, and they were all ruthless fists and feet. Krillin watched the fight between the two, and Yangsha became worried. Yangsha seems to be unable to hold on. Sun Goku also nodded. Yes, the situation is not good. Quote. Chi Chi smiled and said. It doesn't matter if he loses, we can avenge him. Sun Goku shrugged. It doesn't matter if he loses, I'm just afraid that Tian Shinhan will do something bad. Chi Chi asked curiously. What do you mean? Sun Goku pointed at Tian Shinhan and said. Didn't you see them going on stage cursing? I guess, if Tian Shinhan wins, he will have to cripple Yangsha. Krillin said. Cripple Yangsha. That's too cruel, or persuade him to admit defeat, I don't think he has any hope of winning. Quote. Krillin's strength is much higher than Yangsha and Tian Shinhan at this moment. Watching them fight, you can easily see the difference in strength between the two. Sun Goku said. I advised him at the beginning, but Yangsha didn't listen. Chi Chi said indifferently. Then let him fight. If he is really disabled. We can give him a Senzu bean, won't he recover in a moment? Senzu beans are something that should be saved if possible. The more people know about it now, the greater the consumption. Sun Goku said, after all, this thing will be very useful in the future. Krillin thought about it and nodded. That's right, one or two doesn't matter, but I'm afraid that the Senzu beans will be spread out. If more people know about it, the Senzu beans will not be able to be kept in the future. Quote. Sun Goku nodded. Yeah, it doesn't matter if Yangsha knows, but I'm worried about a fat man knowing it. Quote. Krillin was still thinking, what kind of fat guy would want to get the Senzu beans? At this moment, Chi Chi suddenly shouted, look, he's going to use his ultimate move. Yangsha's hands were shaped like calyxes, and a dazzling ball of light appeared in his palms. The audience was also surprised to see this move. Oh my god, we can see Key Blast in the first battle, it's so exciting. Jackie Chan secretly took a breath. He actually used Kamehameha so early, this guy Yangsha. It's a pity, if Kamehameha doesn't work, he will lose. Krillin said. At this moment, Sun Goku suddenly found that the audience stand was behind Yangsha. If Tian Shinhan still reflects Key Blast back, it may hurt people. Besides, the people in the front row of the crowd are not outsiders, Krillin's girlfriend Shinuo is short and is in the first row. Krillin, get behind Yangsha quickly, it's time for you to show off. Quote. Krillin was curious. What do you mean? Go quickly if I tell you to, Key Blast might hurt your future girlfriend. What? Krillin ran over immediately after hearing the danger. At this moment, the light ball in Yangsha's palm shone to the extreme. Came, Hai, Key, Gong. A golden light suddenly blasted towards Tian Shinhan. Tian Shinhan didn't know what kind of moves he used, he only saw his hands quickly forming seals, and even afterimages appeared. Until he put his hands together, two index fingers pointed to the sky, blocking in front of him. His aura also enveloped his whole body in an instant. At this moment, advertisement, Kamehameha hit Tian Shinhan. Ha! Tian Shinhan shouted, and the moment key blast hit him. It suddenly reflected and hit Yangsha. Yangsha was startled, and immediately stepped on the ground and jumped to a high place to avoid it. However, key blast did not disappear, but shot towards the audience. And Krillin happened to run here. He only understood what Goku was talking about at this moment. How did Goku figure out that he could reflect Ki Blast? There was no time to think about it, and Krillin shouted. And suddenly released a Ki Blast with both hands, which collided directly with Yangsha's Ki Blast. Boom. The explosion raised a thick cloud of dust. However, the explosion occurred in the gap between the edge of the ring and the audience, and no casualties were caused. The audience behind Krillin also breathed a sigh of relief in an instant. Oh, I have to thank that young man. It almost exploded me, it's too dangerous to watch the game. When Shino saw Krillin showing off his prowess, her eyes lit up. Krillin, you are so awesome. Krillin scratched his head awkwardly. Hehehehe, <laughs> it's nothing. Krillin smiled and looked at Goku with gratitude. Chi Chi saw Krillin pretending to be cool in little Shino's admiring expression, and a strange look flashed in her eyes. Goku, thanks to you just now, how did you guess so accurately? Premonition, Sun Goku said naturally. Chi Chi looked at Krillin and Shino not far away. They stood together, and they were even the same height, which was really a good match. On the contrary, she looked at Goku, whose height had not changed until now. But she was so much taller, and the two of them stood together like siblings. Chi Chi didn't like this feeling. The Goku she likes should be taller and stronger than her, and he should be able to protect her. But looking at the height difference between Goku and her at the moment, she can't help but worry about the future. Goku, we should have grown up together and got married. Don't stop growing. Son Goku didn't even turn his head, watching the game. While saying. No way, I will definitely grow taller than you. Chi Chi suddenly said. I have a suggestion. What? Let's collect dragon balls to make you grow taller quickly. Chi Chi looked at Sun Goku with an expectant look. 
Sun Goku turned around and looked at Chi Chi's expectant eyes, as if he was very worried about his height. Chi Chi, I am confident in my height, I should not need that. And that day will not be too far away. Saiyan's development is like this, not as smooth as the earthlings, he has no choice. However, Saiyan also has advantages, the period of youth is particularly long. Chi Chi saw that he was very confident, and asked uncertainly, really? I promise, Goku is still confident. Zero. Chi Chi was helpless, she couldn't believe it. Goku, Goku, can I play with your tail? There are so many people here. I want it. Helplessly, he handed the tail to her. Chi Chi's mouth curled up with a hint of pride. During the three years of training in Karinta, Chi Chi pinched his tail a lot. Helping Son Goku overcome this weakness. But she also developed the habit of pinching his tail for no reason. At this moment, Yangsha failed in the air and was shot down by Tian Shinhan. Tian Shinhan rushed up and smashed his knees before he could react and surrender. With a scream, Yangsha fainted. The audience gasped when they saw this scene. You've already won, why are you so cruel? His leg is deformed. Too cruel. Tian Shinhan didn't care about the reputation at all, and said with his hands on his hips, referee, announce the winner of the game. The referee checked Yangsha's injury and immediately announced. Yangsha is no longer in a good condition to compete. Therefore, Tian Shinhan wins. After that, the referee looked at the staff. His leg is broken, send him to the hospital. Yes. Pu'er ran over in a hurry. I'll take him to the hospital. Turn into a magic carpet. The next moment, Pu'er turned into a magic carpet, and the staff carried him up. Sun Goku looked at Yangsha's twisted and deformed legs, which were already broken like that. With today's medical level, even if the treatment is done, it will be affected. He immediately took out a senzu beam from his bag. Chi Chi, stop pinching. Dit. Chi Chi saw that Yangsha's leg was broken, and pinched it angrily with great force. At this moment, Goku spoke, and then he subconsciously let go of his tail. Goku, I didn't pay attention just now, did it hurt? It's okay, it feels good. After Chi Chi let go, Sun Goku quickly ran to Pu'er and Yangsha. Pu'er, wake him up, put this in his mouth, and he will be fine after eating it. This is the Senzu bean, and you will recover after eating it. Pu'er put Yangsha on the grass and returned to his original state. Thank you. As soon as the Senzu bean entered his mouth, Yangsha really recovered. Such a serious injury, he recovered in an instant, it is simply a medical miracle. Pu'er threw himself into Yangsha's arms in surprise. Chapter 76, Revenge of Broken Arm. Tian Shinhan's cruel behavior towards Yangsha was met with dissatisfaction from many people. However, he was deeply influenced by Crane Immortal and did not care about those people. Even Crane Immortal was still smug. Huh, well done, now you know how powerful Crane Immortal style is, right? Hey, where is that guy Master Roshi? I don't want to see his pale face after I crippled his apprentice. Zhaozi saw Tian Shinhan return to the backstage and also stepped forward to congratulate him. Tian Shinhan, you did a great job. Tian Shinhan smiled and said, it should be so, but Master Roshi's apprentice is more powerful than I thought. The Yangsha just now should be the strongest among Master Roshi's apprentices. In this way, you are the runner-up, and I am the champion. Zhaozi nodded. It must be. At this moment, Goku and Krillin also returned to the backstage. Krillin looked at the two, clenched his fists, and said angrily, you two guys are unworthy of being martial artists. Yangsha was obviously in a bad state, but he still did that on purpose. I will definitely avenge Yangsha. Tian Shinhan laughed. He he, he was lucky that he was not killed. I am a kind-hearted person. Chi Chi looked at Tian Shinhan and Zhaozi, and also said angrily, you two guys are too bad. If I meet you two, I will definitely break both of your legs. Tian Shinhan saw that Chi Chi, a girl, actually wanted to beat him up. He was obviously stunned for a moment, and then laughed, 960. Ha 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 ha, I laughed to death, a girl wants to beat me up. Tian Shinhan looked at Krillin and Goku next to Chi Chi, and laughed, it's either a woman or a child. After Yangsha was crippled, did Kame Sen have no one left? With you alone, I don't know if you can make it to the top two. Don't get in the way, there's still the next game. With that, Tian Shinhan walked away with a smug look on his face. Damn, I'm so mad, you'll get your comeuppance. Chi Chi cursed. Seeing the faces of Tian Shinhan and Zhaozi at this moment, Sun Goku was also a little confused. Tian Shinhan and Zhaozi were so bad, but they turned out to be such honest people later. If he wasn't familiar with the plot later, Sun Goku would find it hard to understand why Tian Shinhan would become a good person. At this moment, Tian Shinhan is still hated. Or take advantage of him doing something bad and vent your anger first. Sun Goku looked at Chi Chi's angry look and said, Chi Chi, if you want to beat him up. Then I'll lose to you in the first game, you go and beat him up. You're a girl, defeating him will make him more embarrassed. Quote. Chi Chi asked curiously, Goku, they did such an excessive thing, aren't you angry? I'm not familiar with Yamcha, why should I be angry? Chi Chi was stunned, then scratched his head. Hey, Goku, what you said seems to be true. I'm not familiar with him Yamcha, so I'm not angry. Son Goku said, yes, when Yangsha was a robber, I beat him up. Later, he was a disciple of Master Wu Tian. He became a good person, so people sympathized with him. Chi Chi nodded. Well, what you said seems to make sense. My father used to be a robber and was hated by people. 
Now that he no longer robs, the relationship between neighbors is very good. Krillin changed the subject with one sentence and said, Goku, thank you for what you did just now. Just now, several people thank me, and Sinyu also praise me, I feel so happy. Quote. Looking at Krillin's happy smile, Son Goku also smiled. Krillin, with our relationship, why should we be polite? Krillin nodded. Well, that's true, then I won't be polite to you. Anyway, you already have Chi-Chi and Bulma, they are both beautiful and gentle, you will be more blessed than me in the future. Chi-Chi smiled and said, Krillin, if you can talk, just talk more. You can praise me for being beautiful, gentle, good-looking, and good at martial arts. Krillin. Soon, the referee announced the duel between the werewolf player and Jackie Chan. The werewolf, with the hatred of the full moon, attacked Jackie Chan crazily. In the end, Jackie Chan relied on Krillin's bald head and hypnosis to restore the werewolf player from the fierce werewolf form to a human body. From then on, the werewolf in human form lived a single life for a lifetime. The third game, Krillin vs. Jowzi. Krillin is the proud disciple of Master Roshi, and Jowzi is the disciple of Suru Immortal. Another battle between Turtle and Crane begins. Both of them went on stage. Jowzi, wearing a hat, looked at Krillin blankly like a little zombie, expressionless. Because of his height, he didn't look scary at all, but cute instead. Seeing Jowzi's cute expression, Krillin was speechless. I really don't know what's in this kid's head, is he a fool? Seeing both of them on stage, the host immediately announced. Next, the game begins. Krillin habitually set his starting position. However, Jowzi still stood standing there motionless. Krillin frowned. What's wrong, do you want to compete? The next moment, Jowzi quickly flashed to Krillin's side and kicked him. However, Jowzi's kick hit Krillin, but Krillin didn't move at all. Seeing this, Jowzi kicked Krillin again with his backhand, but Krillin still didn't move at all. Krillin looked at Jowzi like a clown doing acrobatics, not hurting himself at all. So he asked disdainfully, are you tickling me? Use some strength. Seeing Jowzi kick Krillin, but Krillin didn't move at all. Tian Shinhan was obviously surprised. What's going on? Turtle Immortal has a kung fu like the golden bell cover, but he ignored Jowzi's attack. Quote. Crane Hermit was also a little surprised when he saw this scene. Although Jowzi's attack was far inferior to Tian Shinhan. But to say that his attack was just tickling people was absolutely impossible. He was just a small man from the Kame Senryu school, how could he be stronger than Master Roshi? Crane Immortal immediately began to look for the reason. However, Jackie Chan in the backstage was obviously surprised to see this scene. Krillin, he is so strong, is he really Krillin? Jowzi attacked twice without any effect, and immediately launched a random punch at Krillin. Krillin raised his hand to block his moves at this moment. However, the moves were too weak, and Krillin easily blocked his attack with only one hand. Advertisement. Jowzi, who had a dull expression, immediately felt something was wrong. The next moment, he suddenly rushed into the sky and floated in the air with Goku. Krillin was stunned for a moment. Can you fly? If you can't beat me, you will hide in the air. As he spoke, Jowzi suddenly raised his index finger. A whole wave slowly glowed on his finger. Krillin's eyes fixed. Concentrate all the energy in your body at your fingertips, similar to Kamehameha. The next moment, Jowzi said, Wake up, you can't hit me, but I can hit you. I'm going to attack, Dong Dong wave, Jowzi suddenly pointed at Krillin. A beam of energy shot towards Krillin. Krillin jumped back slightly and avoided the Dong Dong wave. The energy set off an explosion on the ground, and the stone slabs were a little charred. After dodging one wave, Jowzi fired Dong Dong wave again. Krillin stood on the ring and could only dodge back and forth. Krillin muttered while dodging his Dong Dong wave. No, it's not the breath of the whole body, but the breath is concentrated at the fingertips and fired out, so as to save physical strength. Krillin kept verifying his ideas and kept watching Jowzi release Dong Dong wave. For Krillin, Jowzi was like a flying sparrow, constantly attacking him, and there was no harm at all. Krillin felt that even with that level of attack, it didn't hurt him. The audience was shocked to see such a strange duel. What a strange move, it can fly in the sky and attack from a distance. Just now, the Kame Sen Ryu was defeated, and this time it seems to be no exception. It seems that the Crane Sen Ryu is more powerful. Yes, it can fly in the sky, and now the Crane Sen Ryu is invincible. What a pity, in terms of strength, I feel that the Kame Sen Ryu's Krillin is stronger. That's right, he didn't show his strength at all this time. The Crane Sen Ryu still didn't understand why Jowzi couldn't break Krillin's defense. But when he saw Jowzi floating in the air and continuously firing whole waves at Krillin, his eyes brightened. Jowzi used this move well, he will definitely win. Chi Chi watched the battle between Krillin and Jowzi, and said with his chin on his head, that flying move is good, it would be very convenient if we can learn it. Although that Jowzi Piccolo is much weaker, if he doesn't come down, Krillin will not be able to win. After that, Chi Chi waited for Goku's reply. However, Goku didn't say a word. She turned her head curiously. In a blink of an eye, he saw Goku's feet off the ground. Chi Chi was shocked. Quote dot 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 quote. Chi Chi looked at Goku carefully. Although Goku didn't seem to be familiar with it, this was flying. Chi Chi said in surprise. Goku, you haven't spoken for so long, have you learned to fly? Goku exhaled and stood on the ground. Son Goku nodded. 
Yes, I just learned it by chance when I was observing his breath control while flying. I think this move is good, we can all learn it for our own use. Chi Chi said excitedly. That's great, I also want to learn it, I didn't expect you to have learned it. Sun Goku said. It's actually very simple, I will teach you when we go back. Yeah, Chi Chi nodded happily. At this moment, Zhao Zi's originally calm face suddenly became happy, he must be very excited. I saw that he was still firing the whole wave at Krillin, just like a person using a water gun to shoot ants. The only difference is that he didn't hit it at once. Tian Shin Han noticed something was wrong, Krillin dodged too easily. He immediately shouted. Zhao Zi, hit him down quickly, quickly. Zhao Zi immediately released a thicker whole wave at Krillin again. Unexpectedly, Krillin suddenly stopped dodging, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Humph, it's just a whole wave, I can do it too. Zhao Zi fired another large whole wave at Klin. Klin pointed at Zhao Zi in a flash. Klin's fingertips also emitted a strong light of 1.6. A powerful whole wave shot towards Zhao Zi at an extremely fast speed. The two key blasts collided, and without any surprise, Zhao Zi's whole wave was pushed back instantly. He had no time to dodge, Klin's whole wave directly crushed Zhao Zi's whole wave and hit his arm directly. Boom. With a loud bang, a violent explosion sounded from Zhao Zi's arm. The smoke and dust completely submerged Zhao Zi, and a burnt smell filled the air. The next moment, Zhao Zi closed his eyes and fell heavily to the ground. Zhao Zi. Tian Shinhan was shocked, he realized that something big seemed to have happened, and hurried up. The host was also stunned for a moment, and he quickly ran towards Zhao Zi who fell to the ground. One of Zhao Zi's arms was blown off, and the broken end of his little arm was charred. His eyes were closed and he fainted. Bad news, his hand was gone, good news, he was not dead. Seeing Zhao Zi who had lost an arm, Tian Shinhan looked at Krillin with hatred on his face. Damn it, I just broke Yamcha's leg, but it can be connected after all. But you completely disabled his hand. You guys in Kame Sen Ryu are much more cruel than me. Krillin looked at his fingers in disbelief. I, I, I didn't mean it, I really didn't mean it. Tian Shinhan's face was full of hatred, and he gritted his teeth and said, Just wait, I will definitely avenge Zhao Zi. Chapter 77 The Clown is Me. At this time, Chi Chi and Goku also walked onto the ring. Sun Goku patted Krillin on the shoulder and said, Krillin, I know you didn't mean it, don't blame yourself. I've said that after such training, we are much stronger than them. They are both energy waves, but the strength is completely different. So we should pay more attention to controlling our strength, otherwise it is easy to kill people. But fortunately, you hit his arm and he didn't die. Otherwise, you would be eliminated and you wouldn't be the champion. Krillin suddenly thought of Master Roshi's teachings. The moves are just a manifestation of one's own strength. So, although they are both whole waves, his whole waves are so much stronger. Now, he completely understands this sentence. But when he saw Zhao Zi lying on the ground without his arm, he still felt that he had gone too far. Krillin said bitterly. But, even if he didn't die, I still completely destroyed him. Sun Goku leaned close to Krillin's ear and whispered, Krillin, don't blame yourself. You forgot that we have Senzu beans, which can regenerate broken limbs. I'll ask Bulma in the audience to give him one later. Krillin blinked and looked at Goku in disbelief, and asked, Really, are Senzu beans so useful? Sun Goku nodded. I'm not sure if one is enough to repair the whole arm, but Senzu beans can definitely do it. I'm going to tell Bulma now. Sun Goku remembered that in the original book, the big hole in their chests during the battle could be healed immediately by Senzu beans, so repairing an arm should not be a big problem. At most, it requires too much energy, and at worst, he can eat two more. Senzu beans are not lacking now. Krillin nodded excitedly. Thanks for knowing this, Sora. Otherwise, I would have done something that ruined someone's life, and I would have felt bad. Yeah, Chi Chi looked at Zhao Zi, whose arm was broken, and said to Tian Shinhan, See, doing bad things will be punished, and the punishment has come so soon. Tian Shinhan clenched his fist tightly, and Zhao Zi looked regretful. You all wait, I won't let you go. Seeing that he still didn't repent, Chi Chi ignored him and looked at the referee. Krillin Wan, you can announce the result of the game. The referee nodded. Zhao Zi can't participate in the game, Krillin won. There was no cheering from the audience this time, because the game was too bloody. This is not what the audience wants to see. But someone obviously likes this. I can only say that the little bald guy did a great job. In the first match, Tian Shinhan of the Surusenryu won and broke one of Yamcha's legs. Now it's completely tit for tat, it's so satisfying. These days, revenge is not delayed overnight, so awesome. When Surusen saw the dying Jiaozi, his eyes kept flickering. He also had a little fear in his heart, but more of it was unwillingness. Damn it, is he really Master Roshi's disciple? Not only did he learn Jiaozi's moves on the spot, but his power is so much stronger than his opponent, damn it. I wonder if Tian Shinhan can beat him. Cheng Long was also surprised when he saw Krillin's performance. I never thought that Krillin would be so strong that he could kill him. He looked at Goku and Chi Chi, and couldn't help muttering in his heart, how did they practice? How could they reach such an incredible strength? Looking at the furious crane immortal, Master Roshi breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, they are all my disciples, otherwise it would be troublesome if they turned bad. After Zhao Zi left the ring, the host immediately announced the next game. The world number, 
One martial arts tournament has entered the fourth game, and the fierce battle is still going on. This battle is between Sun Goku and Chi-Chi from the same school. Everyone should remember that Sun Goku and Chi-Chi gave everyone a wonderful performance last time. Let's wait and see what wonderful performances they can bring to everyone this year. Please invite Chi-Chi to the stage, please invite Sun Goku to the stage. To everyone's surprise, Chi-Chi has grown so much taller. Hey, is that Chi-Chi? I never thought such a cute girl would grow up to be a graceful young lady. So beautiful. Seeing that little Goku was basically the same as before, some people began to worry. Shouldn't they be a couple? Isn't there a big age difference? The height difference is a bit weird. Our little Goku must grow up quickly, otherwise the little horse may not be able to pull the big cart in the future. A little horse pulling a big cart, the metaphor is really appropriate, ha 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 ha, I'm laughing to death. Everyone's eyes return to the ring. Tian Shinhan returned to crane a mortal with Zhaozi in his arms. Master, Zhaozi is seriously injured, I have to continue the game, please take him to the hospital. Crane Immortal looked at Zhaozi with disdain, and then looked at Tian Shinhan coldly. He is already a useless man, leave him alone, he won't die. Tian Shinhan, the most urgent thing is to avenge him. Master, hearing the tone of the master, Tian Shinhan clearly felt that the master Crane Hermit had given up Zhaozi. He was unwilling to accept it, and his feelings for Zhaozi were no less than Goku and Krillin. However, Zhaozi had become a useless man, and his achievements were limited. It was natural for the master to give up on him. Tian Shinhan looked at the poor Zhaozi and secretly vowed to avenge him. At this moment, a voice interrupted Tian Shinhan. Hey, Tian Shinhan, right. If you don't want him to be useless, let him eat this. Tian Shinhan was stunned and turned his head to look. He saw a blue-haired woman holding a bean in her hand, standing in front of him. What do you mean? The blue-haired woman was none other than Bulma. Tian Shinhan saw the Senzu beans in Krillin's hand, I don't understand. Bulma explained. This is Senzu beans, which are very precious. Advertisement. Eating it can help people recover from injuries and regenerate broken limbs. Hurry up and give it to him. Tian Shinhan's pupils shrank. Regenerate broken limbs. Bulma nodded and handed the Senzu beans to Tian Shinhan. Feed it with confidence. One is not enough, I have more. Tian Shinhan stuffed the Senzu beans into Zhaozi's mouth with a tri mentality. Zhaozi, chew it up quickly. Zhaozi heard what Tian Shinhan said, bit the beans gently, and after chewing a few times, Gohan was eaten. In just a moment, the weakness caused by his injury disappeared, and the broken arm also grew new flesh and bones in an instant. Tian Shinhan was overjoyed to see Zhaozi's arm growing rapidly. Zhaozi, Zhaozi, that's great. Seeing Zhaozi's arm, Bulma's eyes were not only happy, but also more immersed in the memory of the past life. If there were more beans in the past life, Gohan's arm would not be unable to recover, and he might not have died in the battle. Who would have thought that in the past life, he couldn't even get one bean? But in this life, he has a big jar of beans. In this way, Yahirobi really deserves to die. Because of greed, he killed so many people invisibly. And it was almost his endless waste of beans that accidentally destroyed a world. Just when Bulma was reminiscing, Zhaozi recovered completely. Not bad, one arm has fully recovered. His arm was the same unhealthy white color as before. But there was no difference between the left and right hands. Tian Shinhan hugged Zhaozi tightly. Great, Zhaozi, you have recovered. Crane Hermit was also very surprised to see Zhaozi's broken limbs regenerated. Zhaozi, how are you? Zhaozi said. Thank you for your concern, master, I am fine. Seeing Zhaozi recover as before, Tian Shinhan felt like he was riding a roller coaster. Although he learned bad things from Crane Hermit, he was grateful by nature. He immediately bowed to Bulma and said, This girl, you saved Zhaozi, thank you so much. I wonder what I can do for you. Bulma smiled and said, Don't thank me. In fact, I am also a member of the Kame School. Quote. Tian Shinhan, Zhaozi and Crane Immortal were all shocked at the same time. Are you from the Kame Senryu School? Bulma nodded. Although I haven't learned martial arts, Goku and I are together, so it can be considered as such. Tian Shinhan's eyes flickered, and he suddenly seemed to understand something. And said, You mean, you want me to lose to Master Roshi's disciples in a duel? Bulma immediately rejected it. You don't need to do anything, just do your best in the duel. Whether it is Goku, Chi Chi or Krillin. They are much stronger than Tian Shinhan, so they don't need a certificate. Even if they are not as strong as Tian Shinhan, with the martial arts hearts of the three of them. They would not bother to let him be the best in the world. Bulma looked at Zhaozi and said, I just think he is still young, and I don't want him to be like this for the rest of his life. Even if Goku didn't remind Bulma, Bulma would have saved him. After all, although Zhaozi and Tian Shinhan in the previous life were not strong, they were all friendly forces. Especially Tian Shinhan, he completely changed after the martial arts tournament. In order to save the world, he sacrificed himself to seal Piccolo Daimao. After saying this, Bulma turned around and left. Bulma is not good at guiding him to do good, but Master Roshi is good at it and does a good job. Tian Shinhan was confused. He couldn't help but mutter. What does she mean? Suru Senen snorted. Who knows? Anyway, those who are related to Master Roshi's faction have no good intentions. Tian Shinhan should be careful. Quote. Tian Shinhan looked at Zhaozi. They could give such good things and cure Zhaozi. Tian Shinhan didn't think they were bad people. On the contrary, 
Tian Shinhan finally felt that he had fallen into the evil path as a disciple of Crane Immortal. But people in the world have long been unable to control themselves. He said to Zhaozi. Zhaozi, you are fine, just rest beside the master, I will go and make it legal. Zhaozi nodded. Well, I know, come on, Tian Jin. Tian Shinhan just returned to the 860 backstage and found something unusual. The audience on the field was silent, and it seemed that they dared not breathe. Look at the martial arts arena again. Sun Goku and Chi Chi were fighting fiercely. However, their battle was very unusual, and the speed of attack and defense was simply too fast. Tian Shinhan had three eyes and could capture very fast speeds, but it was still a bit difficult to capture the speed of the two of them. Tian Shinhan thought of the scene just now. That whole wave was clearly learned by Krillin watching Jiaozi perform it. He understood the key point as soon as he learned it. The first time he performed it, he smashed Jiaozi's arm. Tian Shinhan couldn't help shrinking his pupils when he thought of this. He saw the fighting strength of the two people at this moment, and he finally confirmed this truth. The three of them are very strong. That little Goku asked to control the strength and not to kill people by mistake. He was not bragging. Although Yamcha was tall, he looked like they were the ones who did it. Whether it was Krillin, Sun Goku or Chi-Chi, their strength was far higher than his. In fact, he had no power to fight back in front of them. In an instant, Tian Shinhan was sweating profusely. It turns out, compared with them, I am so weak. In their eyes, I am just a jump cracker. Just when Tian Shinhan was distracted, a warm shout suddenly broke out on the field. Tian Shinhan quickly looked at the ring. Both of them appeared in the sky, their fists collided, and as their fists collided, waves of air appeared. How could Tian Shinhan, who was a martial artist, not see the depth? That kind of strength had already produced a sonic boom. That level was something he had not been able to achieve until now. In addition to strength, Tian Shinhan also found something unusual. They were both fighting in the air, and that was clearly not just a simple hovering. That was flying. The Kame Sen Ryu does not have a flying skill. Thinking of this, Tian Shinhan took a breath again. That is, my Surugi Ryu's flying technique. Let alone the Dong Dong Bo, the principle of that move is similar to the principle of Master Roshi's Kamehameha. It's not surprising that Jiaozi could learn it after performing it so many times. But the flying technique is a relatively profound skill, and it is not easy to perform it. It's not that easy if you don't learn it systematically. But even so, they learned everything after just one look. Tian Shinhan watched them continuously making sonic booms in the sky, and his scalp tingled. In addition to their powerful strength, their learning ability is also so strong, it's simply too terrifying. 